What's up folks? Welcome, welcome. My name is Dale Fix and we are going to be embarking on a new journey. A new journey into the Star Trek universe playing as uh, as the Romanan Star Empire. Now this is an amazing mod. I've, I'm sure all of you already know it. Already know it. I've played a lot of this, um, especially in the past. And eventually I got to a point where I would say, you know, um, it, it, it's it's enough with the, uh, the Star Trek. Now, there's one thing that I need to address. That is, I got my mic right here, right now, and it's because my pop filter broke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did my best to adjust things so it's not too annoying. If you think I could do better, if I could change more, let me know, guys, because your input is very important. Also, now with the corona stuff starting to get back to normal here in Europe um, my working schedule also goes back into uh, into a normal schedule so to say and that means that streaming time is going to be more difficult if I edit actually let, let's just be honest I just cut my videos up and I do want to just focus on the streaming and I will just upload the full the full streams to YouTube and at least these uh, newer series like this one uh, and we'll see how that will go for YouTube so if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to be here uh, for the uh, for the full stream just by all means there's a link in the description which you can press and I will join you here on Twitch good morning Genesis how are you doing my friend let's get started on this so the Roman and Star Empire I was looking at this and the Tal Shari it's uh, increased ability by 5 and the administrative capacity by 10 stability plus 5 plus i love stability admin cap plus 10 we got the cough road uh cough road policies either cost negative 20 so that leaves us with more points to actually claim which is always good uh auditorian a monthly influence increase by 0.5 and the work po uh, worker pop uh, resources output plus 5 uh xenophobe Starbase influence cost negative 20% and defensive platform hold points plus 10%. I we might even lose uh, platforms this time. I usually don't. I don't like wasting alloys for stuff that could be blown up and not get back. Uh, materialist, so we got uh, monthly alloys plus five and the research people. Plus five. The Romulans are so good on research. It's incredible. Uh, we get here a plus five percent in research. Uh, another 20 from the Empire and Devious holy crap bonus to all research plus 10% like damn 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 that's going to be so strong Genesis let me know if my mic is cutting out so I can actually <laughs> you know fix stuff uh, real opinion um, enduring uh, lead lifespan plus 20 because we all know Romulans as well as the Vulcans you know the, the ones with the same species the Romulans being a more angry side and Thank you so much, mate. Thank you. Um, and the Vulcans being, you know, more calm. At least they act calm. We see that in all of these Star Trek films, right? They act calm and they all get pissed off in the end. Untrustworthy cap, okay. And the strong army, which is quite cool. So let's select this. Let's go to... Because I hate the... It's like an engine rumbling in the background. And I quite wish that was a bit differently. But it is what it is. Victory is, is of... Uh, Grand Admiral, no scaling, normal Iron Man. Let's put it on so I don't have the same stuff with stuff. Star Wars Fallen Republic, where I have the game crash on me and I don't have a save to return to. Which was absolutely devastating to me. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to see how well series actually run with the with me not cutting up the full stream to 30 minute parts uh, because believe it or not it's um, if i stream for six hours and i usually stream three times a week so that's six and i got two streams from rough from two to four hours so let's just say it's 10 hours in total so that's about uh, 20 episodes and 20 episodes times 45 minutes is is more more than I can actually do and uh, that's funny actually oh uh, you I used to be so good at math and uh, not math but math Ma yeah mathematics and uh, now I can't even you know 
do the stuff in my head. Of course, it's... Uh, that's the wrong thing, guys. Every now and then. Ah, there we go. Welcome back, Calculator. I really like you showing up. So, um, 20 times 45 minutes divided by 60 is uh, 15 hours of rendering. <laughs> Which is bloody insane. So, I spent 15 hours of rendering just to make sure that you guys have videos every day on YouTube. How about that? Uh, let's take a look at my audio really f oh, Okay, it's not too loud. I'm very happy about that. Anyways, let's just get going. I'm not going to worry about it. If, uh, if something goes wrong, let me know. If not, the rule of thumb, never to do math when I'm live. Yes, that is so true. So, a lot has changed, actually. Uh, the UI, I've never seen from the Romulans. So that's quite good. Now, for those of you who don't know it, I'm Dyslactic and I will butcher every name, system name, leader name, as well as any normal sentence. So you could help correcting me in the comments or in the live streams, but the likeliness of that sticking, well, it's not very likely. So here we go, the Roman Star Empire. And it's been more than, uh, wow, 1500 years since our ascents, uh, uh, Ancestors left Vulcan, our original home world, to escape the poisonous ideology of the Shurik and its followers. After a long journey, we found a perfect system to settle. Uh, we were no longer Vulcans. We were Romulans, prouder than, bef than ever before. We, fo uh, we founded our star empire to protect our values. We are, um, and we eventually did prove Shurik's wrong. Oh, cool. I like that. I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, sure thing, mate. No problem. Um, our empire has grown far more powerful and far more secure than Shurik's Vulcans could ever hope to be. But we must not underestimate our enemies. We must um, remain vigilant. Our senate and our um, praetor, our praetor must always choose the best course of actions to protect all Romulans. The Romulan mantras. Oh dear lord, here we go. A misdirection is the key to survival. Really? Misdirection is the key to survival? Never attack what your enemy defends. Never behave as your enemies expect. And never reveal your true strength. If knowledge is power, then to be unknown is to be more uncontestable? Un conquerable. Unconquerable. Yes, great. And this one is done by Wyrum. Who I think eventually gets the name of one of the guys from the Dominion. I'm not quite sure yet. So let us begin. Um, I would say yes, definitely. Let's go to 100%. Oh yeah. Redeem a real... Oh, that will be difficult. Oh, so we got a bunch of star vessels here. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I, I got a word ban. <laughs> I can't use um, uh, the other one that's, uh, that's that's for vessel in this game. Uh, you figure it out. So let's take a look here because it's been a while. And this does not provide housing. That's good. We do need some housing and crime is on the uprise. Crime is not something that I want to be playing. Yeah, I'm doing great, Astra. How are you doing, mate? How are you doing? We have some unemployment over here. Um... Wow, Remedus Biodomes. Uh, why do why are we on this planet actually? Are there going to be decisions to like like say Mars is with the United Earth? And I do want to increase my alloy alloy production. I don't like. I'll, I'll be honest. Here, I don't like growth speed. I really do not like growth speed. It slows my game down. And I know it's dumb. It is usually what you want. But I want power. Let's let's take a look here. What can we what else can we do? So we got our guy here. We'll uh, we'll send you over here to get the minerals. And we'll send you into that region to get those minerals and then I'll send you over there. So you got some stuff to do. As for research, automatic exploration. Oh yeah, I'll take that. I will definitely take that. We're already on plus seven. Usually you start with like plus five. Uh, so yeah, that's that's good. Import luxuries, artisan shops. Could be interesting to get more luxuries. Hmm. 
Although, combat disengagement chants the whole regen. I really like the whole regen. And we got our very first blue sh uh, blueprint here for the Interceptor. Let's go for the Interceptor. That might be fun. Let's see. Um, oh, you did take... In uh, you took in uh, Egypt. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, you got plenty of time, mate. You got plenty of time. It's going to be fine. If you, if you, um, we're, we're referring it to E4 at the moment. So, um, Astro is saying, um, I just took the idiot, put my England campaign, and now to think about starting in uh, India because I feel like I'm running out of time. It's I always feel like I'm running out of time, but those last 118 years takes forever. Trust me. Uh, but then it's been, uh, oh, yeah, that, that's difficult. Yeah, that was lucky because I took Egypt at the uh, at the end of my series. Now people on YouTube don't know that, so don't tell them. And yeah. Anyways, with all of that done, well, we'll leave the unemployment for now. We got our science ship over here. Do we have anything to explore? We do have this fellow over here that we eventually do want to integrate. He is one of our vassals. I would like to get started in exploring in exploring what is around us. Now, we'll have to do this manual until we actually get the automatic exploration. And that is when I will probably buy more research vessels. So, for now, we'll just go in circle. And that's more than enough for now. Let us get to our shipyard. Ooh, that is extremely loud. Um, let's lower that. Let's see. What kind of edicts can we run? The research grant. Oh, yes, please. I would like that. Really, really. Uh, the happiness is just luxury. So happiness plus 10. That is quite nice. How many do we have? So we're making 15 luxuries. This, we definitely want to take that. Uh, as for traditions, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll take our sweet time. We don't have to rush. The main thing is we don't have the fight the Ottomans. Well, the Ottomans is fun. If you can actually beat the Ottomans, you you could get a lot of developed areas, which is just brilliant. Uh, we'll not do anything for this shipyard for now. Go away, Q. Really Go away. So, let's take a look at ships, because ships is why we like this mod so much. Man, this looks absolutely cool. The Bird of Prey. Hmm, do we want another configuration? Oh, wow. I don't know what the hell just happened over there, but oh my. <laughs> uh, local garrison. Um... So this is like your point defense. If you're fighting fleets that have a lot of shuff, uh, shuttles, these can be quite good. But for now, we'll just keep it with the... With the one that we have. I want to use I want to use everything that just looks like it's Romulan. Instead of like fusion warheads. Which in my mind is more like a human thing to do. So the plasma disruptors. They're, they're not the best weapons. Uh, a lot of shield damage actually. And I remember with the Federation. They actually have less shield damage. More hull damage and stuff. So that's going to be quite nice. Um... I have to turn this one off actually. Let's turn auto best on and save. Uh, the construction ship. Oh yeah, that is quite nice. That is quite nice. Now we could add more hull play. We could add nuclear reactors, making the ship just a tiny bit faster. Now if you're if you're into that, I think it's the or is the evasion. No, it's neither. Then no, don't care about this at all. Combat disengagement chance, crew pots. Yeah, you know, it's a construction ship. What what could go wrong, you know? It's not that uh, incredible. Uh, not that incredible. Uh, can you build the um, the Death Star? No, this is not Star Wars, mate. This is Star Trek. Star Trek never had a Death Star. Uh, the science ship. Now, the science ship does have some components that are interesting, like this one. The anomaly discovery chance. So definitely put that up on there. As for the rest, yeah, I'm not too keen on the rest of it. Uh, no, let's get that out. We don't need the additional uh, cost. 
So let's save that. It's 113 alloys. And we'll actually upgrade the ship first. Before we do anything else. Is there anything we, are, we want to do? Do we have anything in our situation log? No, of course not. And uh, we also want to get started on colonization here. And oh wow, these guys look absolutely gorgeous. That is really nice. We should integrate those fellas quite a Now I wish that they were like tributaires. Tributaires themselves, they still grow. As for vassals, they don't do jack without you. Uh, we can actually recruit a admiral that has aggressive. So ship firing rate and supply speed. I think that's very Romulan. I think that is very, very Romulan. And we'll just see what, what do we want the most. Now I still want to continue and popping. Do I have research on here? I do not. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're going for the research options first. So in... Star Trek New Horizons, you can only build one research lab on a planet. So making sure you got those research labs um, on all of your planets is so important. And we used to forget about these things. So I don't care about that. Let Give me the, uh, the, the influence. Let's just get the game running. Breakthrough. Imperial Fleet upgraded. Nice. Uh, will we go for the science station for the accuracy tracking and a chance to evade? Or diplomacy or slavery? The military academy is, is not something that I want right now. It does increase the amount of trained officers you have. But for now that will grow over time. You will get more of that. Uh, I want to change my save options later. But for now let's not. Let me put in something to drink. So, I was actually planning on starting this stream earlier, and I usually drink like some sort of liquid or, or, or watered down drink, uh, like Ranya, I'm not sure how it's called in, in English, and I actually didn't have the um, the watered down version, I had the full bottle of the 100% uh, the pure stuff, like, okay, let's not drink that stuff, that's, that's bad. Um, for now, we'll just go with the, uh, the space superiority. Just sounds cool. This guy is amazing. Do we have other people in here? At ability. Let's see, what are you? Careful. You're quite good for that. Ooh, I like that. So, let's get... Survey. And just click these. At least he has something to do, right? And uh, we're building the science station. Let's take a look. We also want to build that over here. Once we actually have those pops... Um, we'll build those everywhere and then we'll focus on alloy production. I don't think we'll be at war in the in the next 10 years. We'll have to build up first. Also the fleet. Now I'm not sure if there is a lot of lore in this particular series. But uh, there will be plenty of fighting. There will be plenty of fighting guys. So that's going to be fun. Uh, you have a lot of work to do. What kind of fleet would I like? Let's see. Now we only have the Bird of Praise. And we're already uh, researching the Interceptor. So that's going to be quite cool. In seven months time we'll have something better to play with. So looking very much forward to that. Uh, Unity. Uh, let's take a look. Since we're waiting, we might as well take a look. Oh, interesting. Intelligent Oversight Committee. So, the Praetor has um, formally opened this year's session of Intelligence Oversight Committee. That is cool. That is really cool. Hey, no problem, mate. No problem. Um, take your time. So, we can disrupt relations between foreign powers. Sabotage a a foreign planetary infrastructure. Sabotage enemy um, war vessels. Assimilate a foreign, uh, foreign leadership. Domestic suppression. Now that could be cool. I don't really see. So this costs me energy. Oh. By focusing efforts inwards, intelligence is able to root out disruptive radical elements that might threaten the Romulan Star Empire. That is so good. I'll ask when, again when I'm back. Um, let's see. 
Okay, so I'll be right back on the shower and settle down. After you should colonize these closed planets. Uh, I'll show you how colonization works. Let me know when you're back, mate. Uh, let's go high intensity. And we were going to look into this. So for us, what do we want? Do we want to go discovery first? Now we already have more research than the others. So maybe that is interesting. Uh, I think cunning might be interesting because of the subjugation and vassalization. I quite like these now. U Unity increases. And we have a reduction here on crime. Resettlement cost. Uh, maybe not early on then. A purity. Minerals from jobs. And ship building speed in defensive war. That is so cool. 33% more. That's why if you're fighting the Romulans. It's so in annoying to deal with all of those ships. Stability. Reduced crime. There's a lot of reduced crime in here actually. Government ethic attraction. Um, maybe we go discovery, purity, supremacy. And then cunning. And we'll see what goes next. We'll just see. So... Hmm, import luxuries, leader cost negative 20, and educational reforms, leader experience gain plus 25. Yeah, let's take that. Ah, uh, yeah, the artisan shop, that, that we'll take that, but not right now. I don't see like, the point in doing that right now. So, we need more houses. Do we make enough water ice? Hmm, let's start building that. We might as well, right? Houses here is on a low. And we got eight over here. We do need amenities. Hmm. Let me check one thing because I think it's, my, it's actually my headphones that are really loud. <laughs> uh, that's way better. That's way better. Um, ah, conquered anyone yet? Yeah, dude, come on. I'm in the first year, of course, I've conquered five already. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is interesting. It definitely is. So we got our new ship. Ooh, traffic control is nice. If we can get it early on, we'll make sure that we got it in all of the star bases. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll definitely have to build that everywhere. Now, star uh, the uh, control. Yeah, you can always build one facility on these bases. And the where are you? Uh, research, there I am. The traffic control, you can build without actually improving the starship, but it will increase the, um, the, the vessel's speed by plus 50, which is actually quite interesting. And eventually you'll get so many systems, so many um, stations, you don't want to go back and do all of that stuff. I remember with my... Uh, Federation series that I was having like 170 pl and uh, not 107 but more like 115 planets and I was like yeah we're not going to go back and do all of those traffic controls because I was rather late with that construction project complete. I really like that voice actually that's quite nice I like it a lot so he is now heading over here now we remember we didn't give the orders to queue up the most minerals and uh, let's go to ship designer because we now have the interceptor, which is just a very much stronger and faster uh, vessel than um, the bird of prey. Uh, but then again, it also costs four times as much. Uh, we don't have those on. Are you a science fan? No way, dude. We do want to get something on here. Maybe accuracy track chance to evade. Chances to evade right now is on 14.8 and and a lot more damage. Their voice is pretty cool. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I will fill in this one. Let's take a look here. So, tracking. Tracking 10%, 10%, 10 Oh, yeah, definitely get some tracking on here. The evasion is not going to do as much at the moment. Although, uh, the other aren't that bad either so we get two percent more evasion and i think the damage also increased no it actually decreased but um the accuracy is improved now i wish that you could actually see that on here uh so the more accuracy ha you have the less likely it is to miss ships 
that are faster. So that's actually quite quite important that you get those. So let's take a look. What kind of um, ship do we want? Do we want to get these? Uh, do we actually think we'll fight? Well, we do of course fight vessels that have um, torpedoes. But do point defense actually stop torpedoes or is it more missile orientated? I can never remember. Mm. Yeah, purple is missile CQ torpedo. I would say this is also against torpedo. So um, we might want to keep the disruptive uh, turrets on here. Maybe, yeah, the two is enough right now. If it can just stop those few missiles, then why not? Space superiority, I think that's a bit overrated, but eventually this will probably be the ship to stop torpedoes and whatever. Engineering station. Do we want the armor? 350? We don't have shields at the moment, so getting shield hit points, plus one, is not that interesting. As for the EPS conduit, we can only get the additional weapon damage, and I quite like that. We actually have other options. Um, this will lack the armor option. I quite like the armor option for now, especially because it gives you more survivability. Yeah, definitely, right? Mm. Combat disengagement chance. I think this is very un-Romulan, like... So we might go for survivability or just the um, the armor, armor and hull regen. But not the common disengagement chance. I think that's uh, not what we want. Any other options here? Grappling, supply speed, negative 15. That's quite nice. And the rest is all of the stuff. All of the terminology that you hear from the uh, Star Trek universe. Interesting. Let's get those still. And yeah, we want to queue those up a few because I just don't know what to expect right now. So let's see. We have we have a limit of a hundred. Holy crap! It's quite a bit. Let's fill this up completely to a hundred then. So we need about three and a half thousand alloys. Um, more crew than I think we currently have. Yes, way more. We need to triple the amount of the trained officers. <laughs> and dilithium. We actually, that's the only commodity that we have currently. Uh, but I still want to go for it. So, let's get started on reinforcing the fleet. And upgrade the fleet as well. Yeah, that will be fine. By the time we actually get there, we'll uh, upgrade one of these stations to house those ships. So it will take some time. I don't think it's that much of a problem. Um, the automatic exploration is done, which is quite good. Uh, the meta fabricator um, will create uh, amenities. Two of them. As well as research is always good. Ooh, alloy production by plus 1%. Um, better components for our vessels or colony development speed and migration. Uh, let's let's get that colonization stuff because we've got two planets over here that we still need to colonize. Uh, military academy, the bunker network and the pharmaceutical factory. And this will produce... Um, oh damn, what's the name again? Um... Cortisan, and this is very important to have. So actually getting into this one is very important because it will allow your um, your medical facilities where you get your pro uh, the pop production uh, done to be so much more powerful. Uh, we also want to get going with another shipyard. And the crew quarters over there is quite nice. Let's save up on some alloys. We might have to buy alloys. We could have, we can easily just sell these. But yeah, alloy production itself. How expensive is it? So only 200. That ain't bad. I think I might do that. Let us sell 500 of you. And how much food do we make? Plenty. 
let's get some alloys going and uh, we'll build up this station over here now uh usually you'll take your strategic areas um, but in this game, it's more or less you want to focus on where your planets are. So you can actually encourage growth. You can encourage uh, research and all of that stuff, which is actually quite strong. It is quite strong. I'm quite happy that we only have four planets right now. <laughs> and speaking of which, I think we still have to make these into a sector. Yes, we do. What kind of governor? Do we have so we get more research which is Imperial quite nice upgraded. oh yeah that jumped up quite nicely uh so like i said before the very first building that we shall be making here is of course the uh the research instead of the the empties and empties is going to be important but eventually you can upgrade this building to is this the same actually the administrative complex or is it the lower version no it's not Hmm. Imperial construction interesting project. so we do have to focus a tiny bit of our effort on the on making sure that we get amenities let's make sure we get those research labs going everywhere because research and romulans apparently go hand in hand i did not know that but that's quite cool now uh, we got some influence now yeah we still have some inward stuff to do now speaking of inward stuff do we get anything from the event that we did not really no i don't see that are there new decisions in here then scientific breakthrough ah that's so sad that we actually i like the um uh the crime lord stuff i don't think it's in here though i'll uh, turn these on but I'm not changing whatever it is that it's on right now. Uh, what I want them to do is get those tile blockers out. And this, this message, we're going to be shift controlling and disabling that. Since we'll never uh, use that. Because I'm going to be in charge of how many materials will go into those sectors. So yeah. Uh, for now, habitability plus 5 seems like very strong. We could also go for the upgraded version of the research oh dear <laughs> oh yes yes please we'll Science need more research we need a lot of it i feel there's it's still a bit of lag going on which is quite sad here's the traffic control which is quite a useful component torpedo damage plus five we get some new researches hey thank you so much uh, for the uh, for the follow um level in redeem ad time already oh that's sweet i like that let's uh let's get the, oh let's get that going we'll um we'll get the operation systems instead of the uh, the other one uh let's redeem 30 seconds there we go and let's continue let's resume let's get out of this section though we want to grow towards our our guy over there can you show weapons on ships yes i definitely can so we got the bird of prey here and we also have a promising candidate and we're using the light phase disruptor and the miniaturized plasma torpedoes together with two science station to get a bit more accuracy tracking and chances to evade <laughs> sure 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 uh, it's fine it's fine let me know when you're back let me know when you're back. Uh, and we'll get over those ships. You redeemed ad, so... <laughs> hey, it's good for me. It's good for me. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we do have a promising candidate. And like I said, we're going, we are going into discovery. Because we would like to get more research speed. Especially this one. A very good ad. I do not see them. I do not see them. I, I, I think the, uh, the, 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 the prime subs don't have them. Let's go with another... Um, low intensity operation on crime. Senator Prox has demonstrated exceptional leadership during the um, tenure in the Senate and has been selected to a professional government to be... Oh, interesting. So, I think he should be in here then. Yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Influence production plus 10%. Oh, that is sweet. That is definitely sweet. Let me know when your backs, um... Oh my god, I'm going to be... Llewellyn? Llewellyn? Okay, 
Well, I, sorry, it's the redeem ad. I, I hit the ad button. Lou Ellen, Lou Ellen. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm not English, and I'm very much struggling. I'm dyslectic. I said that at the beginning of the stream, and I will butcher everything. So let's get to ships. We uh, currently have the interceptor as well. The birds of prey consist of the plasma disruptors and the miniaturized plasma torpedoes, and two science stations. Uh, the tracking and accuracy will be more or less like medium game, mid game. As for the interceptor. Um, the tracking plus two. Hmm. Yeah, especially because of those uh, plasma disruptor turrets. Um, we have the armor hull points and we got the crew bunks because I don't think that the combat disengagement chance is a very Romulan thing to do. So that's why we kept those ships. We're actually improving the ships and fleets right now. We're building another station in here just to get a tiny bit more naval capacity and until then we're going to be reinforcing the fleet we'll be selling stuff to make sure that all happens and before we do anything else i think it is time that we colonize this one using uh, of course romulans and we can actually do the lower planet with these guys happiness plus one percent what a huge thing what a huge thing. So they're not... You are vassals, are you not? Our enemies fear us. Perhaps they are not fools. Make me a general. Scientific yes, break. I will make you a general. Uh, really now? Anomaly, research speed, plus four, and happiness. This guy is amazing. It really is nice. So when can we... It is a subject... integration uh, will we'll integrate when the time is right like i said I, I would like to see these more as tributaries where they still expand i think that's more interesting than just vassalization uh, colony development is done and yeah the surveying speed is just so good on those ships we definitely need to take those uh, we're going to be building a few more but first things first we need to assign a general. I quite like the ship firing rate. Uh, this guy, combat disengagement chance is a bit less though. Uh, he's quite old. He's 63. Um, whole regen. He's still so good. We'll take him. And let's rename this fella. Oh, really? It's been. Uh, I've never been able to finish the um, Star Trek Enterprise series. Uh, I think the um, the acting was really rough, sort of say. Otto Otto Vic T X Astro. Let's see if I typed it correctly. I think so. If I don't. How long will you stream? Oh, probably roughly like four hours. If it happens to be that fortunate for me. But we'll see. You can just use Astro. There we go, Astro. Ah, in the future. Oh, now you're just messing with me. Now you're just messing with me. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's see, so this guy is going to be extremely busy. We do want to get more research ships going. So, shipyard, let's go with exploration ships. Let's queue that one up. We're already making that colony ship. And we got the uh, scientist here. Niall has been this great exceptional talent and endeavor during uh, their training. And could now be a scientist. Cool. Speaking of which, what kind of scientist do we actually have? Oh wow, research speed plus 5. Oh, that is really nice. Let's get you. Uh, we'll immediately put you onto this one. So it's now at 9. Uh, you are going to be that person. And it's now on 14. That is just lovely. That is just lovely. And once that chips pops out, could I be a general? I spend my poison on something else. I will make you a general. I will make you a general for sure. 
you did indeed uh, you redeemed ad time i think by the time i i, I need one um it, it's there again uh, redeem me in general <laughs> okay you want to be a scientist then would you like to be a scientist or what do you want to be because there is the vessel Maybe there's something way interesting, like a manacle of scientist? Or just, shall we just wait until we can make you a general, or actually an admiral? I think that's more fun, right? I think that is more fun. You go ahead, and we actually have the automatic exploration, so we can actually hit that. And we'll hit the same for you. Now, what do we get here? So, we got some more uh, modules for the ships. Oh, wow. Oh, I like this. A new ship type. And we actually get the... I think this is the hangar bay, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the striker. I love hangar bays. Guys, hangers and uh, carriers are the best ships in game. I love those. A lot, actually. Mm, are we actually making that stuff? Okay, so this is useful right now. Are they in this moth, though? Um, yes, how do you colonize? Let's get there. Let's get the polarizing all. So, basically, there's there's several things you can do. You can just go to a planet like this one, hit colonization, and select any of the species. And I would prefer if you take the one that has the highest amount uh, you can take. Or, uh, the other one, and this one is, should actually be ready to be colonized, actually, because it should start making the colony ship what you also can do is just queue up a colonization ship and send it to a planet right click on it and say colonize it costs about 200 um let's let's go towards one of those things let's pause it for a second did we just lose the ship no what is it oh that's quite strong damn that is quite strong. Let's get towards my shipyard here. So the cost for a colonization ship is 200 food, 220 uh, alloys and 200 uh, consumer goods. So it's somewhat expensive. But this can vary from, um, from type of empire. Some only use food and energy. And I think that's the hive setup. Um... No, definitely. Now, in the in the past, um, that is true. There's also an expansion plan. I've never used that though. It's it's um, it's in this one, and you can actually sort by planets. Um, I, like I said, I've never used this one myself. Even though it it you can actually see what's on those planets. It could be very useful. Uh, what I love to do in year four. Yeah, actually colonization in EU4 is, is quite relaxing. Uh, what kind of planet? This is actually still... Habitability and growth speed is is meh. Uh, but if we get started on this one early on, we might as well... We'll, we'll send these um, the Remen over there instead of the Romulans. So they're lesser species anyways. We might as well just send them as soon as we have the alloys. And there is the very first colonization ship heading over to... A very Scientific suitable break. planet. And we are getting the upgraded version for the uh, research building. Oh, the Roman crew. Oh, interesting. Oh, the, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, guys. We need to get the regional capital. Because that will give you more amenities as well as housing. Which is... Oh, that is so sweet. That is so sweet. Okay, my scientist returned. Shall we start making armies? Yeah, we'll make armies and Lu... Um, oh my god. This planet has been claimed for the glory of the... And Llewellyn. Llewellyn is going to be um, the general. That goes quickly during the early game in this one. But also, the Romulans got some very interesting things to go for. We have the... Where are you? The research speed plus five. And we got... Where is the traits? Um, devious. Bonus to all research plus 10%. Which is very, very strong. I played like two... Uh, well, 
the game for me personally got interesting with the uh, Utopian. I think it was the Utopian. That's when I actually started playing. Alloy production or meta fabricator again. Or hardening fields. Let's go for hardening fields because this will eventually unlock shields. And shields is going to be so nice. Especially with the Federation. They have a negative on shields. So yeah, that's just wonderful. That's what we want. Okay, let's get traffic control in here. And we'll get the naval depots. And you will get traffic control as well. So our ships move fast. And we'll do the same thing in these other systems. Like over here. Traffic control. We'll add those as soon as we have them. And will now let us get more alloys from selling some stuff. That's a shame. It's a lot though. So here we go. Let's get traffic control in here. It costs us a tiny bit, but energy, you know, you, you can make energy as water. There is so much of it. So let's get the remnant. Um, okay, of course, we sold a bit too many supplies. So once we hit 200, we'll do that. We can also reinforce the fleet. Uh, you don't have all of the DLCs. Well, if you ever join a, a multiplayer with with some of the guys from the discord channel then uh, you can actually play all of the um, dlcs if you like uh, we will research this we'll upgrade those fleets later when we need to this guy is going to be quite busy for some time we're already at 137 which is quite nice like that population itself we're going to get a population that's going to be unemployed so once again let's start regional capital and we'll do a regional capital over here as well. To actually boost that uh, research speed out of the roof. Uh, 200 is what we need. And we'll probably have to start making sure that this is going to be a station as well. Like I said, where you have your planet, you want your station. Eventually you'll have so many stations. Scientific. Uh, I don't really... No, you don't. That You definitely... Um, the how they build up the the Star Trek New Horizons mod pack is that they will guide you through all of it. They they every event from like the Star Trek universe is almost in this mod, which is absolutely insane. Why would I do this? This is my fella, right? Why would I want to do that? Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Let us do the low intensity, because, well, you never know when it's needed. Uh, polarizing the whole plating, that is quite nice. Main engineering, so the city. Um, two more city districts. Yeah, that's nice. Not really needed, though. Uh, this is chemocide. Do we have that? We do not have that unfortunately so let's get the main co engineering console and this will actually I, sh I think we should get shields next all right there we go at 200 we'll send the remedy they got a plus one in happiness so stability problems usually isn't that difficult for them or that much of a problem for them anyways I have something here that I was... Oh, there we go. So, the silenced enemies. Uh, after a day in the orbit, um, with no progress in the... Uh, in localization... In local... Locating the source of the unusual space... Sh uh, uh, subspace readings. The uh, the captain prepares to give the order to move uh, out to the, um, the next surveying target. Uh, and then, of course, the sensor picks up another movement. We'll, um, we'll attempt to follow the ship. And we'll engage them. Ah, oh, that's a disaster. It's a shame. It, it, you know, that there's several things that could happen. And this was definitely not the one that I liked the most. Because now we lost our good-ass scientist. It's a shame. Okay, let's get going on shipyard and we'll build two more 
science ships. Yeah, I love that. So we're getting a lot of those terrific controls done. And there we go. Regional Academy will definitely help with that. I still feel that the voice is somewhat, you know, hitting the ceiling. You can hear the trembling, right? It's usually when that, when... Maybe it's done on purpose, who knows. Naval depots are going to be done. We don't have to do anything else here. We don't have any buildings that's interesting to us. So let's close that down so we don't have to look at that. And the rest will just continue. Interesting. Sectors 1. Good. Astro has now become a fleet logician. That is interesting. We do want to start saving up. So we'll get this green planet and we'll uh, we'll leave the yellow for later. So the next next time what we're going to do is increasing the fleet. There's the hardening fields. A geothermal power. And the solar panel network, optical computer. As well as the mass scale entertainment industrial go into energy and reactors. I think this is very interesting to have, especially because this one produces the um, deuterium, deuterium, and we can also import it. So yeah. Now to find an isolated faction, oh we'll get that. That's why we want to get more scientists going and send them out into the galaxy. Let's get the medical guy, we'll probably, let's see. Uh, actually, I will keep those into their certain uh, field like this. You can see that he gives 24 and this one is just 9. So we could potentially get the medical in there. But for now, actually, I kind of want to do that. So it's now 12. It will be 12 for everything, uh, but not the 24 when it actually hits the Scientific right thing. Breakthrough. So, we'll focus on the Naval Supply Depot. Oh, wow. Oh, that is really good. I like those buildings early on. That is absolutely wonderful. So, you go auto-explore. You get another leader in here. Mm, let's go with Particles. And you as well. Once we start building, um, the armies will uh, redeem that and uh, make me a general. There's the main engineering console. Next stage thrusters. Mm, better shipyards and stuff. So this will get you to the upgraded version of your star bases. Imperial construction or we'll go for better thrusters for our ships. Let's do that. Uh, we have now three science vessels, which is more than enough. And we'll go... Oh, wow. The, special, uh, the uh, specialist pop um, resource output is increased by 5% and unlocks the Think Tank technology. Oh yeah, I will need that. I need that. I really need that. Let's take a look in here. Educational reforms, research grant. Yeah, we want that. We'll get the research grant over. So 5% more research. This was 12, now it's 17. So it's just wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous and there's the shields let's take shields shields oh yeah uh, we will upgrade the ships later we can't ref uh, afford anything else and there is the other colonization ship going <coughs> and we can actually start getting towards this space i want to make sure that we this get has been claimed for all the of this of the empire. <laughs> i love that voice I really like that voice. And we'll take things slow, guys. We don't need to rush things. We can have fun. Uh, we're going to be uploading loading the entire stream to YouTube. After this one is done. I think that's how I'm going to be rolling. The same thing goes with, uh, with EU4 and stuff like that. Starting the new series. <clears throat> so it's more to watch, but then again, it's fine. You, are you still working? Yeah, you are building those. So once he's done, I'm sure there are going to be some systems that are fully uh, surveyed. As you can see, there it's still... No way, dude, I was trying to say anything. There's no 
systems that I can actually work with at the moment. So, yeah. So, um, my name is um, Hexi, and I've been leading a team researching advanced propulsion technologies. I'm pleased to announce that we've made a substantial breakthrough, offering us a number of potential applicants to pursue. So, give, can you give me more information? So, we can choose between two, the high-tech energy and the low... Uh, the high energy impulse thrust and the low temperature with the high is going to be um let's see uh the maximum amount of possible acceleration so this is more speed and the low temperature is i think evading sensor range and we're romulans you know we have the cloaking abilities right so we need to go with the low temperature ones let's Scientific role play this great. a tiny bit so, new research. And I still... Oh, torpedo weapon damage plus 5 is also quite nice. But that is, I think, is it an edict? It's an empire modifier. Uh, although I would like to get these ships. There's no way I can... There's, there's nowhere I can place them. So, yeah. We'll just go for the additional uh, damage. Construction project complete. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I just want to see the map. Okay, so the maps in here is 1,500 stars. I believe it's 1,500 stars. It's huge. It's so huge. Absolutely insane how huge this is. Uh, keep domestic on low intensity. We'll save up on resources. Uh, the next pop is going to be into uh, alloys. And we'll look into our ships a bit later. For Star Wars, the Star Wars map is definitely interesting. It's a shame that I did not have the, the best of experience. It's, it's Unknown because the game crashed several forward. times. But uh, actually, it crashed one good time. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. Let's see, we got some research in here. Uh, I kind of do want you to do the research option first, mate, if you don't mind. Because we might find something interesting. And there's actually planets in here. I like them planets. Uh, there's the supply and naval depot. We're now at 78. We'll definitely increase that. Um, claiming influence cost. Oh yes, please. Um, now, let's go to star bases. And we'll build the uh, naval logistics center to actually increase the amount of naval capacity in there. So good. Uh, we got a distress call. So we... Um, we're going to be dispatching. And we need a scientist present. Where is that? That's over there. Can we just make another scientist? I think that is the better option. Let's go for a, another science ship. Uh, you'll get a lot of these missions. So, um, getting more science ships. Then why? Why not? Why the hell not? Now, shield hit points. I like this because we actually have this strategic resource actually a good amount of time. But it looks like we can actually make get six of that. So definitely we'll uh, pursue that option. And oh, we, we need more. We need more alloys. Uh, no jobs available at the moment. So the next building here would be alloys or upgraded building. Uh... Hmm. Amenities plus 5, housing plus 14, Senate jobs plus 2. So, and uh, the Senate jobs do what? Uh, produces unity. Oh, interesting. Oh, that is really good. Empire sprawl. Amenities, trained officers. That is really interesting, but two jobs is a bit much though, especially because I would like to get more alloys going, so we'll start with that. You are very close as well. Unfortunately, there is no other building yet, and we can still upgrade the planetary college, and we'll get more research going. So yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll see in time how far this goes. It's a slow start as always. The Sumerian snare. Ah. I hate this one, actually. <laughs> I really do. I've never done it. Hey, good night, Genesis. Thank you so much uh, for uh, for being here. Um, Astro, are you being ghosted? <laughs> no, um, it takes a long time to load. 
it is true it, it, they, these mods are insanely large so uh, the sensors are locked into a vessel loaded to the capacity with minerals and its engines appear dead an automated distress signal loops every 78 seconds and the captain orders the channel open to reduce himself a short grounded alien appears on the view screen ah the alien replies you have broadcasted the distress signal uh, signal do you need assistance ah the alien replies once again what is the nature of the problem the captain asks impatiently we are backlit. Our ship is the uh, Monda, looking for things. Things that are make our ships go again. We help repairs. Well, we can send the away team and we'll have a horrible time doing that. So, let's research that one. And we are building the science ship. Unknown territory explored. Oh, that's actually not a bad system, actually. So, we'll send you over there, build that outpost. Although... We'll start with this one, because it's cheaper to do it like that. We'll start with this one, then that one, and we'll slowly get towards the edge and block everything off there. Do we have songs in there? Let's see. So, um, the captain has joined the away team repairing the packed vessel aboard. He discovers that the ship's databanks contains ex uh, ex extensive scientific data on the region of, of this region of space. So, we are going to beam the captain back. And uh, the captain must repair the ship or the vessel alone or we will be, be all killed. Uh, I hate that. I always pick that one and I should know better by now. Let's get this guy. Uh, we'll send you towards that distress signal. Uh, while our uh, construction ship is going to the Norcan system. Yeah, the Norcan system. Let's see, how much alloys do we have? Can we build more ships? How much do we need, actually? A lot. Do we have better stuff? Let's intimidate them. And yes, you are very strong. And the captain is beamed back. So the uh, the packet ship was mostly repaired through the captain's efforts. It appears ready to move following the, their failure to hold their hostages. Ooh, we are going to... That's enough for today. We'll get the influence. Let's see. We get better trust us. That is really nice. No, thank you. Let's see. Is there anything else that we would like? Uh, evasion plus four or supply speed plus six. Look, the speed on these ships are very important. The faster they are, the better. And you can run circles around stations and other ships like that. So that's actually quite good. Uh, the interceptors... Let's save that. Uh, let us take a look at this in a second. We'll override that design. Hmm. Anything else we want? I kind of want to make sure that we get shields very, very shortly. 360, huh? They're very strong. They're very fast. The interceptors are amazing. I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, surveying the improvement is done there as well. Let's make sure that we just get the rest. Ship hold points and combat engagement. Gen yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just do that. Otherwise, I'll be annoyed by it forever. So there we go. So the distress... Uh, um, arriving at the source of the distress signal... Um, the explorers, um, the explorates is able to determine the ships in distress signal strapped in the event horizon. Type 4 quantum singular singularity. Prepare the tractor beam. 
The substrate threat penetrating the singularity event horizon, but not before the emitted power relay is overloaded with the strain of the operation. Maintain tractor. I'm going to get destroyed, right? Well, okay, so we actually pulled the ship out. Establish dampening fields. So far, so good. And we have space pirates. Where? So, dampening fields are established around the external sensors, and slowly the interface blocking the other vessel's transmission is compensated for. The crew are astonished to hear the voice of the commander. Um, Renitionals hail, hail to the trapped ships, which may improve, not shown to be whatever. What the hell is this? I can't read any of it. Hmm. Let's fire that pulse. Shell sensors are disabled in the subspace distortion. However, the commander forces to determine which is the two. Oh, any mini mini mo. Shall we go port or starboard? Uh, starboard. You tell me, guys. Let's on on. Look, let's take a look. Is there anything that we can do now? We are now going to be making more alloys shortly. Once that population is starting to grow. It means that we'll get less alloys. Report. Oh, we chose correctly. Interesting. It's the entire name that I've been confused with. Oh well. Uh, let's go do exploration with you as well. And hopefully we'll get to a point where we build these systems up and get over this region. Let's take a look. Polarizing the hull plates, this will uh, bring us again closer to actually having more... Sh actually no, in two months time, well, one month time we got shields. Oh, oh yeah, like that. Really like that. Let's zoom out a bit. And continue. Let's not keep the game pause for too long. We'll wait with upgradation because that's just, um, well, useless to do that. Uh, we have... Two available jobs. So it's going to take some time to actually get that all going. We don't have droids. So, oh well. A research station output, optical computer, and map meta fabrication. Let's go with the research output. Hopefully we'll get more research. Uh, the more the better. Especially once the, uh, the federation is formed. It's so important that we actually get more research. Because the federation itself is going to be huge. And also... Also, Klingons, yeah, Klingons and Vulcans, uh, and Rom uh, Romulans, Vulcans, it, it don't usually don't mix well. Where is that? There was more in here. A lot of research, actually. You, go here, research those anomalies. Never mind. Um, what you will do is you're going to get that and this mining station done, as well as this one. And then you'll go over here to build up um, the Nimbus system. And when we actually have a fleet large enough to take this hostile, we are definitely going to the attack. So I think this is going to be a very important upgrade for most of our ships, since we should now have shields. And there was something in here. Okay, why? Great discoveries await us. Stop. What's the bloody difference? I think there definitely is something singularity core. Maybe we'll be not picked up as soon. Offers a better balance, increasing our warp range speed and chance times. Interesting. Never actually looked at those. Uh, but there we go. Actually, we have our shields, which is very, very nice. Let's save these, and we shall therefore upgrade 
uh, 182 alloys, we're at 191, but at least we'll get shields, so survivability will just increase by 30%, that's how I see it, and definitely a good increase by the looks of things, I like that, not enough to deal with that though, Unknown no we'll get there, explored. we'll get there, all in due time, claiming influence, negative 20%, uh, let's go with the water purifier. If we ever need uh, more watered ice, we might as well go for it. He is on its way back. Do we need another construction ship, guys? Would we like that? No, not, not that fast, though. Let us get all of this salt. Because we're not using as much of it as the other. Uh, domestic, low intensity, there we go, uh, we'll just buy alloys, and what we'll do is we'll start reinforcing this fleet, and hopefully we'll soon see the very first of the interceptors uh, popping out, and I'm really interested in seeing what it will do, because I'm not too keen on these bird of prey ships at all, if they disappear, they disappear, we're not going to be using them, uh, right now we're at 92 naval cap, we need 100. I think we want to build the station up in the Balak system. Uh, but we don't need to do that right now. And there we go. Do we want leader experience gain or shall we go for the anomaly discovery chance plus 15? I think that one. Okay, what faction are you going to be playing Astro? Scientific breakthrough. Hmm, healthcare reforms, I don't think we'll have any of those quarters in buildings yet, I don't like it, you don't want to have your AI run things when you have the hospital complex, because that will just ruin you, but we're going to get the frontier medicine anyways, unknown territory explored, great discoveries, oh there's a nice planet in there, uh, food is increased but the rest is just more expensive, uh, we definitely will go for that system. And there is another planet in here. Oh boy. Oof. Well, definitely not a mineral planet. Uh, let's say that, at least. Because that's just... Oh my god, the Deveron system. What are you doing, mate? Uh, but I feel that the uh, the Romulans actually have a lot of options to go into. Uh, these guys... You will pay the price for opposing us. Uh, we're not opposing you. And you're actually overwhelming this guy is overwhelming because he has 690 in fleet power uh, that's about three times as much as we do now we do want to keep a close eye on that because well eventually they will become disloyal Let's put you on aggressive heavy bombardment new Senate mission uh, we've got a new Senate mission here too uh, let's track that on the map that's over there um, We'll just let him do its thing, and then we go after these, uh, these tracked missions. And we'll use one of our guys just to do all of that. I just want to see everything grow as fast as possible. Uh, we do need another population in here, though. And it's soon happening, so we'll gain uh, more alloys, which is always good. And we're also getting another Regan over here. And unfortunately, we'll, well, actually no, it's not unfortunate, we'll probably upgrade the research complex. We still have enough enmities in here. Uh, the others, these, these might be another thing. We might upgrade the Scientific administration equipment. complex first. And there we go, we got more and better at, uh, armor. Do we need dilithium? Oh, that's going to be difficult. Citizen. We have citizens. Ah. I might have to disable that thing because I can see how that's going to be very annoying. Especially when Wenak is starting to, um, to redeem, uh, redeem in real world, in, in real life word bands. And he's actually, he's, he's already... Butchering the system because he's actually doing two for the price of one. So that's not how it works, mate. You can pick one. You can pick one. 
You're not getting a discount of 50%, mate. <laughs> Let's go with the fighters. Let's see, we're still making a lot of influence. I, I don't like to build out myself. I usually let others do it. Yes, you do. You're not getting a discount. I have to be... Uh, I'll be here studying. Great. Yeah, how's the study going, mate? I hope the studying is going good. Uh, precious Moon. So we got another thing going. Uh, we Science might want to go great. for... Oh, that bad, huh? Oh, sorry to hear that, mate. Sorry to hear that. Uh, research output plus 10%. Oh, this is actually the upgrade for our ship. Interesting. I'm um, actually, I want to go there. Uh, we'll get better warp engines. And we have discovered, I think, what is going to be another empire. So we can do all of these at the same time. It doesn't change anything. Uh, all should be a month. And I'm kind of wondering what empire that empire is going to be. And this is the Andorian Empire, who is not yet part of the it Federation. It's an honor to meet you. It's really loud. You are always so loud. We might have to kill you guys for being loud. But we don't care for you. Oh, look at that. He's part of a coalition already. Ooh. They're going to be so strong. They're not going to be liking us. Okay, that means that we need... There we go. The, ah, the United Earth is there as well. Oh, don't care for you. Oh, this is going to be so rotten if they form the Federation. I'm going to be very, very close on that list of empires to be destroyed. Hey, DJ Slide, how are you doing, mate? Oh, you took up too many classes. Damn, dude. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, you, you'll get there, you'll get there. And the Tellarites as well. Yeah, they can form the... Uh... Imperial construction that is project. so annoying. And I can't brush towards the Tellarite. They're already part of to the... Find uh, yourself. Of the Think. coalition. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll get there. Uh, minefield space charges or... Let's go with the import of Durium. durium whatever. Uh, we definitely want to go into this direction because I just don't don't like that he is having his guys over there. So yeah, we'll get Devron and slowly start forming an area against them. Now we know that we'll most likely be fighting empires here to our our west first because they will not be part of that federation. And there are the factions and the fleet command limit, which is. Holy... Nah, well, we can't do that right now. Let's go with the Roman crew. And we... Wow, we can't upgrade anything, huh? Oh, that's bad. Okay, we'll save up for one more pop. And then do whatever it is that we want to be doing. Unknown territory exploded. Now, this we're making 80 now. Okay, construction ship is not doing anything. If, if you move there... Actually, he can just make that jump. So, we're going to allow him to do that. So, we occupy that system. And what we want to be doing is making sure we keep building this fleet. We There's the first interceptor. Scientific breakthrough. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at our fleet. So you can see some of the ships in here. Where's the interceptor? Probably the largest ship present. Uh, it's probably this one. Yeah, that's the interceptor. Actually, it's not the largest ship. It's it's one of the. It's it's smaller than the other one. Oh look at that! Actually, I haven't looked at the star bases at all. It's so cool. Really nice, really nice. We can already upgrade them for just a minimal amount, so we'll do that. Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, what kind of research do we get? So we got a better singularity core. I think that's what the upgrade is all about. Um, redeem stretch when daily doesn't look at the chat. Um, yeah, the year is 2161. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <sighs> 
Yeah, that's way better. So let's take a look. Geothermal station and solar panels. I think we do want to go there. Although, yeah, we'll go there. Uh, economy, because look at that. Energy credits is slowly going down the drain. Uh, it's not a huge problem though. Especially not with the new planets going. Hmm, yeah, let's go for the upgraded torpedoes. 210 or 11 energy of uh, research, sorry. Scientific breakthrough. And we got the Roman... Actually, let's see what that does. Uh, wow. Delphic remote control? Oh, that, that just sounds so cool. Uh, shield damage plus 30. Hit points plus 10. Oh, okay. And these guys are just shield hit points plus 10. So this is more the defending. But I think, yeah, that's way better. Can't do that, right? We're building... Hmm, I don't think this is an improvement, actually. No, no, look, uh, look, these guys, they got more shield damage. They're just way better than the others. And we're building this one ever and nevertheless, so, oh well. Let's make sure that all of our ships will get the shields. Ah, uh, come on, give me, give me one... One other pop, and I'll be very, very happy with you. Um, Bella Prime is going to be done shortly, which I like. And uh, we'll slowly get our way in here. Ah, uh, this is just too strong. I think they, yeah, they, 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 did they ruin? No, they still are friendly to the Vulcans, but they chose to go with the Andorians and the Tellarites first. Unknown territory Very interesting. Equivalent in province has been established. in research. So that's going to be quite nice. Uh, once this is done, we probably will focus first on energy. Because, well, we're not having as much of that. Let's make sure we get that on. And let's continue with that. Um, so, yeah, we're, oh, we're very early in the game. Yeah, this, this federation is, is, is formed like crazy. I, I'm kind of thinking that they might have the uh, the origin start of the federation, where they start with these three. That's, that's how I feel right now, because it, they have been growing like crazy. Um, outpost building cost negative 10. Holo theater or defensive grid and computer. Let's go with the holo theater. Yeah, it, it, this is... This is actually quite interesting i will definitely have to uh, revisit the uh, federation because it's it feels very nice if you can start like that it's just amazing let's get uh more food sold get that going and yeah we'll keep the rest since we're still building up here build some alloys upgrade the fleet uh, the Sundering. Interesting. Tactical okay. So, um, the Trulis had entered a system, uh, a location that had become synonymous with dread following the Sundering with Vulcan hundred years prior. Okay. Well, 80... Well, 18 ships left Vulcan, only 7 found their way to Romulans, with just many being lost following the collapse of uh, 198 Eldra, with a black hole. That's just very unlucky. Uh, but there we go. New Senate mission. Who the hell are you? You know that you are a Romulan devil. You destroyed our worlds and butchered our people, and for what? Just... Because we defended ourselves from expansion into our territory. Um, you were exterminated. For 200 years we have built our homes and our fleets here. 200 years we have carried the burden of losing our home worlds to you. Um, prepare to, to join the, the others, I think. 
So who is it? Where are they? It's over here. Interesting. I like that. There is uh, the Legacy of Coral. That's 1k. I don't have enough to deal with that. But I would like to be the one who is doing that. I don't know. Maybe. Sin is no mus. Oh, well, fine. I'm not particularly sure. Okay, you're not doing anything. Research those projects. And we cannot send them over there. But I do want to have the ships to actually deal with this. Let's upgrade that one ship. And we'll build up those uh, other ships as well. As soon as we actually have the alloys. Come on, just one more pop. One more. That's all I'm asking you. Six hundred and thirty-nine. Okay, I think you're going to be done very shortly afterwards. So we're going to be on automatic exploration, and you are going to get this star base built because I don't want to lose any planets to these guys if I can help it. Oh wow! Yeah, they're going to be very close. Can I get 1k fleet before they do? It's... It's going to be... Oh, wow. I was trying to give daily pronunciations. I don't even know where I said it. Like I said, uh, uh, at the beginning of the stream... Uh, you can try to correct me, but the chances of me remembering where I did it, when I did it, is very, very shortly. Oh, uh, what, what kind of... Si what, what did you pick? Everything habitable, you have to go to 100%. I don't like that, actually. I think everything habitable is just, you know, the worst in Star, uh, Star Wars Fallen Republic. Because you will have so many planets. I usually go with 50, maybe 25%. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that won't work, mate. Zero percent habitability. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Well, you couldn't. You actually, what you could do is uh, it could still work, but you'll have to conquer other planets, um, and, and that's fine. Yeah, that's actually quite fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Who the hell are you? And let's investigate it. Get out. Get out now. You're mine. Come on, just one more to go. Population growing takes forever. An alien empire has established communication. Oh dear lord. Oh yeah. Edlu Arlu. Are you very wary of us, superior over in a Yeah, you you if oh you could be my friend. You could be my friend. Well not for long though, because I will have to attack you, but still. Can we um improve relations with you? We got some envoys. Uh, which we're not using. We could send envoys. What can the Imperial Guard do for you? Never mind. Let's improve with these uh, Inavi Lobby uh, guys instead. It's it's funny that the the Earth, they still have like the old Stellaris things, and the others have just cool ass voices and stuff. You will pay the price I'll for send... opposing us. Oh, shut it. I will send you over there as well. Imperial construction project. Because I want to build up my fleet more than anything. Uh, we, 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 we're going to be for a lot of wars. A lot of wars. And he's just superior. It he's overwhelming. Honor. Your Over ships are small. Okay, the advisors are way too loud. I'm sorry. Let's get you lower like that. Because, oh my god. I don't need to blow up my own eardrums. Nevertheless, yours. Can't wait until we can actually start claiming and fighting. So we got new science here, telepathic control, uh, which is very interesting. I want to check that out. Fleet command letter, leader, leader lifespan on naval capacity. Oh, oh really? Um, actually that is quite nice to have. Let's get started on that. Uh, monthly unity plus five, and we'll go for surveying speed plus thirty-five. Once this is done, we'll get an additional five percent uh, research speed, which is just amazing. 
Uh, you said it. Where's my points? Ah, uh, it's not how it works, actually. It's it's you 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 ban it, but uh, I'm I'm going to disable that because that's just horrible. I'm I'm going to redeem you your points then, sir, because you are so that sad on points. Yeah, let me let me redeem those. Let me reject those. Uh, reject that. Um, and I'll do the other word as well. Stretch your marks complete. That was completed. Add time. All of that is done. Now I'm going to be disabling that. It's just horrible. I don't like those. Uh, let's see. Manage request. No. Let's see. Where are you? Community. Channel points. Customize display. No. Manage. Mm, yeah, this one. There we go. That's 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 bad. A uh, guide rate. Sure. Why not? It should be gone now. I don't like that. It's just too difficult for me. I will never remember what kind of words I can use and what you cannot. Let's take a look here. So we got the new upgrade for the plasmas. Uh, that's quite nice. Let us go mining stations. And we'll have to upgrade you. Actually not too expensive, but it will definitely help me. Uh, one bit. Now we can actually start by disrupting relations between foreign powers. And I would like to disrupt those with the Andorian Empire. As... With the United Earth. Uh, wow, that's actually very expensive. Uh, we'll do a medium intensity and hopefully they will uh, leave the coalition. I'm hoping that that would work. If that works, then that would be so bloody strong. I would really enjoy that. Okay, this guy's not doing anything. And there is another empire in here. Uh, let's go automatic exploration there. Okay, you get those mining stations done. And we'll head on over here to get that planet. While also colonizing with you... Definitely colonization. We'll build up a station in here. I think that is important that we do that. So, once we have another 55 alloys, we'll build up the station in this region. Mm, defensive station is not that interesting right now because we still have the FTL stuff. He is superior. Yeah, we'll get those rather sooner than later, I hope. Is there anything that we can sell here to make it worth a while? Sell some of those, and we'll sell a few of this. Get more alloys, so we can actually build that fleet up. I want to get this fleet built up completely. When daily doesn't hydrate. I'm sorry, dude, I didn't even say that. Gee, give, give me some slack here. I'm not a robot. I do miss things. Can you imagine some people, and I'm not speaking about me, just having a million people watching their streams and like, destroying chat. <laughs> How are you doing DJ Sly? How is the, um, did you get your new music, um, you miss a lot, bite me, the one egg bite me. Um, how, did you get your new music on the, uh, on Spotify yet? Oh wow, our operatives have successfully looked serious of um, damaging communication between Andorian. Oh, that I like. Let's pause here. Let's take a look if we can actually see if something changed. Always walk cautiously under okay. the ice. Now we can build up. Let's see. They have a cause of rebellion on us, which is fine. I wish that you could see what it did for them. Uh, sending an envoy to harm relations. No, I don't need to harm relations. We're going to be improving and we're going to be sending this guy uh, in a hundred of days. Because you cannot do that every time. The psyno. That was really loud. 
That was really loud. Um, yeah, we're quite tiny by the looks of it. Uh, we got a new scientific breakthrough here. Oh, wow. Deep Strike Commandos and Migration. Uh, if I would have to choose, uh, we'll have a look at our current ship designs. Uh, we still make a good amount of everything here. Uh, we're still using all of the tech tools. There's There's little changes in it. Ooh. Still, I like the Tashia upwards the most. Yeah, we still have plenty of energy here. So, we don't need the energy. Uh, we'll go with the Singularity Core, even though I don't really know. Um, the Soren Le Are you bloody kidding me? Look at that. They form a federation like crazy. Uh, the Empire sounds like a tw 20 year old. It probably was a 20 year old. Uh, probably. Yeah, maybe. These guys are going to be forming a federation like crazy. We know it, right? Hmm. That's going to be extremely annoying. Come on, give me another spot. When? Ah, it takes forever. Come on. Get it done. Let's see if we can actually change some policies here. Um, healthcare. Ah, these guys are doing fine. Uh, can I get something to pop growth? Yeah, birth of clinics. Let's do that. Um, anything else? Resources, trained officers, unity, or stability. It's currently balanced. I like that. I like the balanced a lot. Espionage. Yeah, let's go max. We are Romulans after all. Gender equality. Sure, why not? Uh, Baronet events. Oh, bioannual events. Okay, that's an interesting option, I guess. Trade policy. How many latinum do we actually get? None. Uh, I want to go with the marketplace of ideas. Import policies. I like the additional alloys the most. And we're going with... With the... Yeah, let's go with the population growth. Now, this will probably destroy my food production, but that's fine. There's still so many anomalies that we'll have to discover. Uh, you were actually the one that was in charge of those anomalies, right? I think so, yeah. Uh, go here, research that. Research this one. And I want you to go to the Devlin. Go over there. Go in this region. And then go over... That one. And that should be most of it. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, still, we, we have time. We have time. Uh, we'll definitely build up the fleet some more. We'll sell all the materials. And we're actually quite balanced now on food. So, once we get some of these uh, pops to grow a bit faster, because they're currently now growing with about almost five a month. Eh, that's not so bad. Well, that's not bad. Um, we could actually... Let's take a look. Happiness plus 10. Can we buy that? Yes, let's do that. And educational reforms? Did I just do this one? No, that, that, this is a grant for a few years. Leader experience, healthcare. Yeah, we don't have that yet. That's a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping that we could get it. Can we actually get those buildings built anywhere? Let's take a look here. I think it's in this region. Doesn't appear to be so. Oh well. Still one job remaining and we have the uh, Frontier Hospital. We cannot upgrade it because we just simply don't have the uh, the means for it. Kind of do want to upgrade this one. Uh, but we'll do that once we actually need amenities. The Senate jobs is quite nice but not that nice to actually just throw everything away to make sure that we got that building going. Two amenities. This would 
Uh, 20 is actually quite a bit. What kind of enemy build? Oh, yeah, we'll go for this one for sure. Uh, enmities and pop growth. Uh, we'll do that for everyone. While we save up and build up those planets. Uh, we were building a colony ship, so that's good. Uh, you are heading over that region. Mm. How much are you liking me? Yeah, you are starting to like me, so that's good. Uh, you are somewhat the same as we are. Autotarian, xenophobe, as well as materialist. And... If you please, thank you, government. Autotarian, xenophobe, and materialist. So they're the same as us. Um, it, it would be a good... Definitely, it would be a good... Uh, ally to have, especially because he's still superior to us, and these guys are just growing like crazy, and everybody loves them because that's just what humans are, right? Everybody loves humans, apparently. Uh, I got three of my three envoys, and I think we can actually start building the starbase here in the Devon system. Uh, let's upgrade you. Uh, if we could have a listening post, then it would be nice. Uh, for my understanding, yeah, it's 20 years. Okay, I've seen that one. I wish I could mark off comments like that, you know. Uh, where I could say, I've had that, I've had that. Uh, for now, just sell you. Uh, buy more alloys. Not enough yet. Damn, these ships are so expensive. They really are expensive. Uh, but we actually managed a 1k fleet. As soon as we have more, we'll get into this. Uh, the one problem, though, is... Oh, luckily, it's not on my shields. I didn't see the enemy. So, that's a bit of a shame. Oh, someone destroyed it, didn't it? Yeah, otherwise, why would we get that message? Uh, let's put you on evasive off. Now I want you to go here. Let's go there. Let's see what it is. Uh, when the Federation forms, I'm I'm boned. I'm boned. Uh, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's it's a start as slow as any. Making seventeen. We'll just buy the alloys. Make sure that we got our fleet. Actually, we're not Always as. Walk cautiously they're still under the ice. Would you shut up, please? Thank you. Um, they're just superior now. They're no longer overwhelming, so that's that's good. And he is increasing, so that's good. Uh, equivalent. Uh, the both of us would be enough to deal with only the Andorians, but I don't think that it's that good when we actually have the entire Federation to worry about. How about you? You're actually improving with me, are you not? If changed by 04... And they are militarist. Hmm. Maybe we have to get like uh, the vassalization, the subjugation stuff going. So we can actually attack them and make them a tribute or something. So they keep growing and eventually we can stab them in the back and have some fun with them. Let's see how expensive that ship is. Uh, 508. Yeah, that's quite a bit. That is quite a bit. And we get the Warbird here. Interesting. Let's get the Warbird. How the heck uh, do I colonize? Do I build star bases or science ships to explore? Um, science ships will do explore. The star bases will increase, like, your naval cap, your... Uh, defenses and stuff like that and colonization is just easier if you go to a planet and just hit the colonize button like this one like colonize and then select an empire and there's actually my colonization ship making sure that that is going to work um well not per se uh would be ideal if you are stronger yes uh, but if they decline Say we want you to be... Ask to be their vessel? No, let's not. Uh, if we actually can do that, well, we need the... I think the cunning for the subjugation. Um, if they decline, we'll get a causes bell on them. Do we still not have those 16? Uh, there is the upgrade for that one. 
Uh, let's go for the optical computer. Uh, let's reinforce and upgrade both of them. So hopefully it will increase our firepower just a tiny bit. I don't like to be on the lower end of the, of the spectrum. Let us disrupt um, the Andorians with the Earth's humans again. And uh, we'll do the, the medium one. Hopefully they don't realize it's us that's been trying to, uh, to get that wedge in between them. And hopefully they will break away. And once they do, we might even consider going to war. Although I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that is going to happen. Fifteen pops. Ah, uh, the scientist. Where are you? You're there. Okay, so they were ex they they were exterminated. So there is a fleet of more than one k just roaming around, dealing with everything, and that's just you know slightly problematic. There's another species in there, and they didn't know it was it was us. So we got a refund of twenty five. Very interested in seeing what the uh, the high intensity does. Uh, well, we'll see that when that happens. Once that happens. Okay, you not doing anything. Is there a particular reason why you're not doing anything? Go explore, dude. I kind of want this one. So build a star... Actually, build a star base... In here and then move over here and build another one we'll block these guys off uh, growing towards where the planets are I think it's most important <clears throat> and slowly we'll get there scientific that's the optical computer uh, plasma disruptors uh, level 2 um, yes please also the anomaly research chance is quite quite good But we'll go for the plasma. Let's go for um, for weapons first. And we'll keep upgrading the fleet here. There's a bit of lag already. I don't know what the problem is with the lag lately. I don't know. It, 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 does any of you have lag issues as much as I'm having them? Because, oh boy. Yeah, I think so. They would be completely different than they are. It would be quite good if we can actually form anything with these guys. So they're still weary and we're not getting a lot of that done. A negative 21 is the neutral relationship. So if we can just build that up slowly, we might just get like a defensive pack going. Something like that. Populations are extremely inefficient. Yeah, true. Let's go with crew quarters and repair station. Ah, come on. I want to see 16 over here. So the relics of surrendering. What do we got? Uh, we got some special projects going, actually. But we'll look into that right... Well, soon. Whoa. That's a drop. I do not like that. So relics of a sundering. Where is this? Holy shit. Research those projects, all of them. And very cool looking station. I really like that. It's so blue. It is so blue. Yeah, Distant World Universe actually has a good population system. I think it would definitely help the lag in the game. Really love that system. I could, I would really like that. I would to have it. Ah, oh, damn it! He's building, isn't he? He is moving still. As long as he's moving and not building, I'm cool. Unknown orders. I want to be the very first one to actually start building here. 
There is the construction ship who's probably having the order to start building. Uh, but we're just... Come on, are we the first one? Yes, we are. We're going to get that system. Plasma disruptors. And district improvement on research. I don't really use those at all. Uh, new power cores, defensive grid, central computers, weapon range. Let's take the weapon range and... I don't like any of these weapons. Yeah, maybe these, the Kennesite uh, torpedoes. It's a lot of shield damage and nothing else. Maybe if we have ships like shield runners. <clears throat> and this is such a good thing actually. Bergen refinery. We, well, we'll go for it. Bergen refinery. Once we have it, we'll have it. Uh, you think the Federation is at war? How so? They are at war. They indeed are at war. Yes, they are. Oh, wow. Man, the Federation is warmongering like crazy. And they can, you know, they have the power. They actually have the power. Negative 13 on those guys. They're su ah, they will never deal with me. Suspicious, huh? Equivalent. Can we deal with some of their stations? If if we can deal with stations... And we can barely deal with stations. Let me go with that one. Um, ah, damn it. The energy is low. Come on, just get some of these buildings done. Once it starts ticking, it starts ticking. And once it, it it's there, we'll, we'll definitely have a largest fleet. It's now, it's just a matter of surviving. Because these ships are very expensive. And we're now making 200 a month. So that's not even a ship a year. It's a ship in several years. I always like to see what kind of fleet they have. But I think they are very, very strong. And this starbase is done. So what do we want to do with this starbase? Ah... Uh... We don't have FTL yet. And as long as we don't have FTL, we cannot trap fleets in here. But still, the hangar bays are very interesting. And population growth should be there. There you go. Those are the buildings that we want. We want to make sure that we get those. Orbital hospital is just quite good. Maybe more so than traffic control. Uh, we'll have to up we need an upgrade building for the starbase uh, we'll not build anything here it's just so we have 1.4k in this region it's more than enough and we got population growth speed for 10 percent uh for the next 24 months that is very interesting let us go for the surveying speed and then we'll go for the planetary surveying corp getting the additional 20 no additional five percent and we'll most likely go for where are you the magic to make the sanest man go mad an additional 10 percent so this is going to be nice uh break time yeah mate okay I'll, I'll definitely have a bit of a break but i might have a longer break take a look The hell is this? Scientific breakthrough. Mm. Okay, that's for my new car. I had to uh, buy another car because of the engine light. Didn't want to turn on. <clears throat> I just don't know the world anymore. Actually, it's just it's uh, that serious. Though. I, I, my car was um, didn't pass the uh, <laughs> the exam because. The engine light did not turn on. <laughs> Seriously. It, it must have been. I was like, yeah, you're joking. Like, no. New rules and regulations in 2005. Let us go with the stealth thruster. And we got the new defensive stuff. Uh, the science console for tracking... 
Well, we're getting to a point where food is definitely a bit of a problem as well as energy. And we do want to change that. I'm not sure this will actually help with that. So we'll get with that. What we can still do is go to the planet. And we are making 58. We can get 5%. Uh, that's too... That's not all that much, though. Uh, how much upkeep do we actually have? We actually don't have the um, the resource needed to get that done. But we can do that with food. So, we're making 28. And I think it's the largest planet that we actually have that on. Although, looking at these, I think these two would be way more suitable for being a agricultural world. Uh, but 5% of 10? <clears throat> I don't know about that. It seems like uh, eh. uh, a bit iffy. Let's go. Uh, come on, one more pop, guys. It's probably because he's unemployed that he's a bit, you know, bummed out. I need one more guy to grow. And then it's ready. Then it's finally, finally ready. Uh, actually, the upgrade worked out pretty, pretty well. 1.2k. Nice. I like that. Just keep building at 1.3. Oh, yeah, come on. Show me the power. Show me the power. A relic of Sunders. What we got? Change leader portrait into Vulcan. <clears throat> Why the hell would I want that? Uh, negative plus six. We're actually in the plus right now. Hmm. Migration treaty, huh? No. Form a coalition is probably not going to happen. We would like to go for a commercial pack. That is very loud. Why doesn't anyone say it's loud? Uh, why not stream on Discord? Why not stream on Discord? Ah, uh, why would I stream on Discord? <laughs> Let me start with that. Why would I stream on Discord? Because there's a lot of people watching? Or there is a chance of a lot of people watching? Oh. Yeah? I'll take you on, buddy. I'll take you on. Anyways, um... Let's continue. Come on, just build me that guy. Okay, who did we met? Oh, so they're fighting those guys. <sighs> are they winning or losing? And by the looks of it, it kind of feels that they are winning the war, although they are inferior. Who the hell are you? So the Psy actually starts this war and then becomes very large. <laughs> Sorry, the Universal Translator sometimes has. I don't care, Universal Translator. Yeah, we're not going to guarantee all of this, but it looks like they are only fighting the Soren League and not the entire the Imperial Fed. Oh, God never defeat. mind. Yeah, they are fighting Divide the entire... Yourself. It's so damn loud. I've asked so many times, to actually, if they could just normalize. It's just a matter of normalizing the races. You know, you get all of your race uh, sounds and normalizing them to the same level. And that would fix all of the the, the swings. Uh, but apparently, they, they, they don't care. Um, actually, go back. We're going to be disrupting relations again with the Federation and the Unitar and the Earthlings. Let's see. Closed borders. Okay. So, are you you're still equivalent? I think we should go to war. I think we should go to war, guys, and just take as much as possible, and if we are going to have a fight, we should try to draw them in. Early cloak, holy, yeah, we'll need it. I need it. Getting at sec, no problems, mate. Should we go to, to war? We should colonize these two as soon as possible. Montadir, <sighs> Sablisur. How expensive? 
Interstellar campaign is negative 20. Get those at least. And it's all about... Oh, look at that. It's so nice. I think this is nicer. Uh, instead of that one, even though they do have the strategic resource in there. Should we, get, should we go for a war, guys? Should we just save up and build up a tiny bit more of our fleet? Uh, we'll leave the claims for now. We don't need to do that right away. There's no need for that. Uh, we could actually... Sell... Some of this stuff. And... A thousand of that and just get more alloys. But it's not enough to reinforce there. So, yeah, that, that's a bit annoying. Um, well, more territory would be very beneficial. Are you friendly with those guys? And we get more unity as well. I really like that. And they didn't realize that we were the ones messing with their relationship with Earth. I would love to see, would love to see if they get beat up like that. Uh, research grant has been expired. Um, I kind of want to keep that going. So, yeah, we'll have to wait on with the claims. And we got some... Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Population growth speed would be quite ideal. It will also help with the um, enmity. So, I think we should go for that. We already have the regional capital, so let's go for this one. And next is probably... Minerals. Uh, we can actually build this up for a mineral planet. Just give me one more pop, do it. Come on, man. You can do this. It just takes a few more years. Let's get this message out of there. Uh, we should have enough shortly. Let's take a look. Uh, shipyard. Shipyard, thank you. It's... Whoa, that's... We got the new ship, of course. Oh, yeah, the warbird. Let's take a look at the warbird, guys. I completely missed that. Oh, that's, uh, that's going to be a very strong vessel. Um, light phases. Heavy weaponry. I like that. Not a lot of torpedoes. Uh, the disruptor beams. Yeah, th these are nice. Very strong. Seven damage. It's uh, definitely a lot stronger than the other ships that we have. Just a singular torpedo. Uh, I like the... Do, should we go for the range versus damage? Let's take a look at the range. The range is 40. And that is decent. The range is 20. So when they close, they start firing those torpedoes. Do I want to get the tracking computer plus two on those? Uh, the evasion itself is quite high on the ship. So we're uh, uh, around 20. Yeah, high-ish for what it is. Uh, the speed itself, not so much. But we can also just go for a more evasion. Though it does not help us when we're too close. Maybe just making it faster would help out. Now, I like this uh, this region a lot more than this system. Chances to evade. So, 5-2 for 51.92. Uh, oh, that's double. That is really good. Okay, that will mean that we'll, uh, we'll alter this fleet. And we'll get in the Warbird. Two of them. It's still almost a hundred, and we'll build two of them. Uh, we still need a good thirteen hundred to get that all going. Ah, uh, the prices are insane right now. We could sell two fifty of that, and we can at least get our very first warbird out. And this will probably get us to one point seven, which is nice. It is nice.
and we can actually start colonization let's do this with you i like these guys because of the happiness plus one we don't have enough alloys that's a bloody shame how about this one ah this planet is way better i like this one way more although yeah the food is plus 10 percent which is well not bad it ain't, it ain't bad And we'll build up with these guys, so come on. Can you be friendly towards me, dude? I would be very happy if you were friendly to me. Uh, what do we got? More unity gained? I like that. Keep, keep the unity going. 20 months to go. We'll finish discovery. We'll get an additional 20% on research. Which is just pure wondrous. I like that. Could we buy... Yes, we can. Let's buy... Let's keep buying that stuff. Uh, I don't want to sell too much of this, but we can actually sell the Lefenum. Uh, yeah, we'll sell that. If we have the fleet ready, we can actually go ahead and deal with these guys. I kind of want their planets as well, because that would just be very nice to have. They're somewhat like us, so um, coexisting with them would be not that difficult. There's the new um, interface, or actually the uh, the impulse thrusters. Ooh, starbase level two. Let's take that. That means we already have another upgrade to go, making them even faster. Uh, probably not so much in the military power, but oh well, it is what it is, right? It takes a long time to upgrade these ships. That's actually quite surprising. Well, it's Probably because we're building that warbird. So if you see the, the military power jumping up, it is due to the warbird. Hmm. Construction ship's not doing anything. That's usually not what you want. And we're going to get this system. Go over there. I'm not sure what it is, but it's an Omega molecule. And I think I needed it. I needed it yesterday. And we gained another bit of uh, unity it's interesting though so a portrait did change to Romulan or actually to Vulcan at least that was the um, the message that we got hmm Could be nice for another sector. Ship building speed and cost is okay-ish, I guess. And this war, if, as, the longer it takes, because they cannot form the Federation while being in a war. Always walk cautiously under the ice. Could we just see what your relations is with Earth? Yeah, I, I think it really holds little value to uh, to harm the relationship between them and the Earth. I don't think that's uh, that's that interesting. So we got all of that done. Does that mean that this one is now finished? I think so. There's nothing we can do with this uh, this tree. That's a shame. Research that anomaly. More with our warbird, mate. I want to see my warbird. I've been waiting for it forever. And there's the early cloak. So, holographic cloak generator gives ship a temporary 20% damage bonus to all attacks at the start of space combat. Don't, don't, don't get that message away from me. Thank you, game. Um... This bonus lasts for 60 days. After the battle, it takes the generator some time to recharge. The bonus cannot be applied again. That is very nice. That is very nice. We've got drone fighters in there. Very interesting. I like that a lot. Really like that a lot. 
Improve uh, research districts. Mm. Uh, we'll get the meta fabricator. It's cheap. Let's take a look at our ship designs. Where would it be on? Where would that early cloak be? Is that new? Just or is it in need of a special slot? Okay, so it's in here. So we would trade a lot of hull points for cloak. Uh, I will eventually do that on these ships because, you know, they are the warbirds and I think they always had that cloaking ability. But if we want to do that right now, now that I am not particularly sure on. Actually, I was looking at the wrong bloody ship. I'm not sure if we want that. Not right now. Bayesian is still... Supply speed though. Uh, I don't think so. No, we need something else on this. The accuracy tracking and stuff. We'll, we'll get back to the science station. There we go. Auto upgrade. Oh, we didn't auto upgrade you. <laughs> it's good that we find that right now. Oh, uh, yeah, because that's going to make you a lot um, stronger. So we're now at 1.7. He is equivalent. So he's having around the same numbers. Uh, we still would have to lower uh, lure in towards one of our system. Um, uh, how do you build a, uh, science ship? Um, actually, it's, it's, it's as simple as ever. Build science ship. I think it's just the same as in Stellaris. At least I think so. And it's been a while since I actually played normal, uh, Stellaris. Oh, come on, just get over with that pop, man. Uh, ancient capsule, let's grab them. Uh, we'll awake the occupants and for the first time it appears they um, they are not wreaking havoc in my territory. Advanced healthcare systems that would, will increase population growth. So let's take it. Okay, um, do it one more time. So go to a shipyard. It does say it designated shipyard. So not starbase, it's shipyard. Go to, and you'll probably end up being in this building. You go to shipyard, and then you construct a science ship. I think that's all, uh, that, that's more than enough. Let's take a look how many the claims would. Make claims. Um, kind of do, I would like to get a planet. Maybe just not that one. And just one planet. And then uh, we'll at least have some pops here. How large is this planet? 23 pops. This is the capital. If we break away that capital, then that is just... Lovely. Lovely. I think we should go for it. I think we should. Are we upgrading this? Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's take you. That means more science. We'll get the magic. And when... Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're in the 30s with science. Oh, shit. That's great. That is really good. Let us um, sell some more. In the hope that we can actually get enough to buy that last ship. And there we go. The fleet will be at full strength. We will be over our naval cap by two. You will see this in the energy. Now the second we move out. It's when uh, the economy is taking a nosedive. Uh, but still. It's, it's good. And as long as he is rivaling some species. Probably the Vulcans. And... I think we should start sabotaging the Phylaxian territories. Hmm. We cannot do that over here. New dossier. There we go. Phylaxian. And I kind of don't want to lose too many of my resources over here. So we'll do a low intensity one and see if something happens. 
Now my vessel is also going to be fighting and I should start making some armies. Three. Um, let's take a look what is the difference. There is none. Three. Actually, if we just build one on each planet, it's, it's probably enough. Because they're still expensive. And we still have a general that we are going to get for this army. Um, I like the tractor beam. The supplied speed to slow enemy vessels down is really strong. I really like that. So with all of that, and I'll have to scroll up to actually fulfill uh, one of those redeem make me a general things. And we'll have our very first general in there. Uh, to definitely have a fight here on the uh, on the system. That is so nice. But this is the one that we're waiting for. Once this warbird is done. We should have around 2k. And it's good. And we actually blow, blew up a ship. And the suspicion grew. At least it felt like it was growing. Uh, growing. Can't wait to make those claims. Can't wait to make those claims. It's going to be so good. Migration treaty proposal. This war is about to finish. There's another empire here to the left. Uh, communications have been established with the Dallin. Who are where precisely? Is this this guy's? Okay. Are you at war by any chance? Inferior? Oh, wow, I love that. Inferior and research? To find yourself. Okay, so uh, once these guys are getting inferior in technology, that's when this is actually going to be brilliant. Uh, for now, let's take a look. Can we make something for the energy? Not right now, but energy is not a huge problem. We'll definitely deal with that. Although my economy right now does not look too good. Let's group all of you together. And we'll hire a general. We can't even hire a general. I will sell something for that. I don't mind that they go into this direction. Um, I'll take that thing. Let's make those claims. Let's make those claims. We'll prepare for war. Uh, let's take... Some of this stuff. And we'll make a general. Um, defensive army, defensive army morale, defensive army damage, it's all defensive, so we'll go with the, um, or maybe we'll get a better one now, army upkeep plan, yeah, right, let's take you, and uh, let me scroll up here for a second, um, that's the name that I need, There we go. Llewellyn is going to be the general of this army. And we'll worry about um, all of the rest later. Let's... Can we make... Ah, uh, we're lacking some influence. Okay, that was not the best of ideas then. I do want to get the Omega Molecule. I've never had a Omega Molecule. I think it's the best then. It must have been. Uh, Amnity, so let's go with... The Frontier Hospital. Oh, we can actually buy something on you. I think we can actually save our economy a tiny bit here. When we have more minerals and get a fusion reactor. It's three jobs and we'll get 18. So that would be quite nice. You're almost at 16. Very close. So yeah, we'll fix the economy then. Um, the ship is almost ready. You are not doing anything. That seems like a bloody mistake to me. 
and the construction ship is waiting because I'm an idiot and I didn't save enough influence. Interesting well this one. I like it. I might have I still have to claim a lot of territory here. Even though we're now instead of claiming, we're just warring. We're going to be warring. Come on now, 300 is what we need. So it's the next month we now have enough. Let's get fusion reactors in there. And once we actually get the buildings... Let's see if they're in here. Yes, this one. Uh, we can start producing those. That's lovely. That's lovely. Now, the reason I want this as well is because these fellas, they, uh, if we hold alt here, you can see we have the dilithium of titanium or whatever it's pronounced. And... Um, yeah, that will just help us getting more energy, so that's good, that is really good. Come on there with that ship. Yeah, that's great dude. It would definitely help if you were improving with me as well. I'll be very honest with that. Uh, 90%. Come on, show me that 2k. I'm, uh, it's going to be annoying to lose ships, but we will lose ships. It's uh, easy as that. Look at that. There's so much going on. What's going in here? Let's take a look. If we can see anything. If, if we can see the enemy fleet, that would be... Let's investigate you, since I apparently don't know you. That's probably the Vulcans. And there's another sign, ships. I think it's the Vulcans. I think it's... Uh, they are right over here. And the Endorians have been growing quite large. Interesting. I don't even know this um, this empire. It's usually the Psy who are dominating this entire region. What can the Imperial Guard do for you? I don't know what you can do for me, but you are winning this war and I hate it. At least you're now equivalent. And there we go, we got our 2k going. Uh, I think it's time. So we're now hostile, let us declare war. Claim conquests. Finally a war. Took me forever. And let's get the first, second fleet out. In this region. Uh, let's move you over here as well first. And the Sonic Command, actually. Oh, interesting. The Sonic Command. Don't tell me you're part of their little scheme. And a suspicious equivalent. So on Grand Admiral they're now equivalent. The, the fleet is out negative 21. That is horrifying. Uh, we might have to go for... We do have the Grove building, right? Frontier Hospital? No, we do not. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, my leader apparently died, so let's get him. Because we already had him. And the ruler that was elected was, of course, the one that... Had all of that additional science, leaving us with quite a gap. Food is on zero. This will change, I hope. You. Hmm. We. I don't think we can build this right now. No, we cannot. Neither can we build this. We should. Oh wow. We're making five Brazil nitrate. We'll have to remember this. If we can make Pegum, if we could make that, that would solve a lot of our issues. Don't see that building in here anywhere. It's just doing something for the upkeep, which is a shame. Uh, for now, I think the most sensible decision is actually getting food in here. So we don't have to worry about that. And the energy will be in the positive soon as our ships are in dock. So not such a massive problem, right? Let's get this one under control. Wait. 
if they're sending their dumbass ships over this way, then we might as well just take advantage of it. It's most likely going to jump out the second it gets in here, but if we can just capture it... And it was caught. There, he's, he's not moving out. It's a scientist. Oh, man. Look at all of those lasers. And we didn't even have a look at the, um, the warbirds. Bird of prey. Bird of prey. Here's a warbird. Oh, man, those green lasers are phenomenal. I like them. I'm sorry for your ears. <laughs> okay, now we got that at least. Uh, let's go over here. And we'll take things a bit slow. We don't need to go um, too fast. Uh, the tractor beam is done. And we can now get a better shield emitter. Uh, shield regen by 10. Mm. Yeah, let's go for the shield emitter. And I'm awaiting their fleets. So they're building here. And hopefully he will start sending his ships in this region. Okay, scientist. You're not doing anything. Research that place. And I want you to go here and research that anomaly. Okay, let's get the large-scale hydroponic fields. At least the uh, the food will be in the positive then. Man, I love how how the angled of this stuff is. Okay, there we go. So onwards to a station. They don't have shields. Do stations usually have shields? Oh wow, that's really fast. I kind of hope we don't lose a ship. Um, still no enemy or hostile fleets nearby. And it appears we didn't touch any of the, uh, the armor. So can we go... Actually we'll do it like this. You go there. And we'll keep a close eye on what, what's going on. We'll take all of this. Uh, repair and then slowly start moving in this one. Now if we have a say in it I kind of don't want to, to fight their fleets with a station because I think that would just ruin us and also we're going to be using this station to get the naval depots in there instead of the defense and we'll use the Logistics as well as well as soon we as soon as we finish one of the naval depots uh, that will get us inside of our naval cap and that will actually help us with the fleet. Uh, we got a science breakthrough star base level two, which is quite and the starbird. Ooh, like although yeah, do we want to get starbird? No, let's go for the tyranium hull. We'll keep close eye on whatever else. Let's see, anyone hurt too badly? No. Go here. Now we should. Let's um, not do this. anti committee. We should get some. Yeah we, yeah we do. We got the plus 20 right now. That is marvelous. Which I believe is energy. So we got 66 over here. Let's build up some energy. And the more energy the better. Hey thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, Wenek. I appreciate it. A uh, special project has been completed and we get some experience. You figured it out? Oh, nice. Well, if I have ever got the time, then I'll, um, I'll definitely, um, I'll do a game with you. And we can figure a lot of other things out as well. Um, how long will it take you to get the additional pop, though? Uh, not as much. So, Mandling Envoys. The Envoy Calvin has been uh, causing a great amount of harm in their efforts to represent the interest of Romulus. Right from her first arrival, she's been, she has criticized our government, government effort in various high-profile meetings. 
and in front of other empires. It's with deflection and... Yeah, um, this envoy has to die. And in all honesty, I, I don't get they don't like us. It's these guys, and we're fighting them anyway. But yeah, the envoy needs to die. It's it's the Romulan way, <laughs> I guess. I guess it's the Romulan way. Let's see the food go up in the positives. Uh, shields are going to be a bit low on some of our ships. And let's see. Actually, he hopped off. <laughs> yeah, freaking Eldo, man. I'm glad that you uh, you found it. So, by the looks of it, it's only shield damage. By the time we get there, the shields will probably have been replenished. Uh, Tyranium Hall was saving up alloys, which are now at uh, 14, which is... I don't like that. But, oh well. Ship building speed and research speed, I don't care that much for, for that. And we actually have this strategic resource in there, in our territory. So, beam weapon damage is also very nice, especially because it is a Empire modifier. And making our ships 5% uh, stronger, I guess. And uh, we can upgrade over here for 450, that's quite a bit. Let us dispatch a rescue mission. Over there. I'm sure we got one scientist just not doing anything. Research that process, please. Ah, uh, you are repairing. I might as well upgrade you then. Construction ship. You're over there. Uh, let us... Build that star post. And we'll fill in this gap. And then we'll move into this direction to block them off. I don't need any type of federation growing in my side of the territory. It's not how it works. <laughs> Um, five more months until the energy runs out. Yeah, we'll have to deal with that. At least we're making food again. A new imperial province has been established. Ah, nice. Uh, we'll just sell stuff, I guess. Um, the Andorians have rivaled their uh, neighbors, I think. Or not, because of some something. Oh, they've rivaled these guys. Interesting. Uh, we might want to rival someone as well that will make more influence. Uh, for now, we'll sell that, so we'll get rid of that one message. There's a timed project. Uh, were we sending someone over there? Yeah, were well, you were sending over there. Okay, good. Go here, research that anomaly. Uh, apparently you're done. Let's go and research that anomaly. It's a nice system, look at that. The lithium and everything is in there. Okay, so apparently they chose not to defend their stations. Which is interesting, I'd say. Because they will definitely be harming their own economy if they don't. Oh, there we go. Rivalry has been declared. Yeah, we should have done that. Let's declare rivals as well. And we'll get 4.5 influence then. That's even better. So we can claim even more. There's the beam weapon damage. We're now on 2.2 still. Deep mining network, escrow mining complex or prospect, uh, prospecting bay. Hmm... How much is the lithium? We're still making 13. Yeah, let's go for the deep mining. Let's get that out of there. At least we'll get all of the resources from in here, which is quite nice. And uh, we'll take all of this. We'll slowly start taking all of them. And I want to see their fleet. If we can just... If we can find their fleet and just have a fight with them. And uh, not with a the station. Then... Because we'll lose a lot if we fight the station. We'll definitely lose a few ships. 
Hmm. Our naval cap has grown nicely. I wish I could buy or build a few more ships though. Uh, we also should assist the research in our capital. We'll probably go to Ekmal and then go back and see what happens. Don't, don't bloody grow that one. Um, let's see. We'll gain influence or energy. Let's get the in, uh, the energy. Advances in healthcare. Habitability plus 5. Soil enrichment. Uh, let's go for the habitability plus 5%. Okay, come on there. Mers district. I kind of wonder what it will change for us. Uh, negative 19 is quite a bit. Don't say I like that too much. Uh, this science ship is not doing anything because that uh, stopped. Anything I want to send you? No, let's go do automatic exploration. And we can form a commercial pack with the United Earth. Now this, if we can stop them from wanting to kill me, then I would be very interested in doing so. Especially because they're now superior. Uh, we'll um, ask for no. We're not. We'll, we won't be associated. We know. We don't want to be a part of the Federation. Uh, we want to grow large, grow fat, and uh, kill the Federation. That's what we want. We have the deep and dark passion to do so. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Some ship destroyed? Oh God, no! Oh, that was. I was so worried about that message. We go there. Okay. Well, I'll think we should do that. Uh, upgrading cost is still 450 and we almost have 450 I think we might want to take the upgrade um, the, the more upgrades the better and I'm kind of hoping that we could see their fleet shortly okay we're now at negative 25 25.27 Oh, oh, this is absolutely brilliant. You go, dude. Idiot. Oh, well, let's see if he survives. So, we were 25-7, so it does help. It does help. Uh, so, I kind of think that um, the next pop will definitely upgrade this building. But for now, we'll just continue getting all of that to go in. Getting more energy. Seriously, can I just take these? That's um no 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 sleeping dogs. We'll have to wait for this one. I kind of don't want to go in there either. Yeah, let's go back. So the sleeping dogs, after launching a shuttle to investigate, um the stop. This is brilliant. After launching a shuttle to investigate, the captain and a small team of the exploration uh, of the uh, of the the ship have determined that the crew of the damaged vessel has fallen victim to a neurotoxin harmless to the members of the away team. While leaving the aliens unconscious but alive, the captain has successfully hacked into the central computer and determined the toxin the toxin was picked up by the aliens after raiding a nearby star system. While looking to repair the ship's engines, the order to lift the uh, in order to lift the vessel from the gravity well, the captain was attacked by one of the alien vessel's crew, a female apparently infected by the neurotoxin. A fighter shirt, the captain is injured. The alien contacts the uh, the ship with a list of demands, including a report of ship to subspace material compensation. Captain dies, Captain dies. I'll accept the demands. I kind of don't want my Captain to die. Go explore. 
go explore. I want this fight. I want this fight. I want this fight a lot. Uh, because this, this is the majority of the fleet and we do outnumber them. And just... That's just pure brilliance. I like it a lot. Come on now, jump in. 24 ships. And... Did I misread this? Okay, that might not be the best of it. I didn't see the other fleet. Ah, shit. Zoom out a bit. Maybe not the best of ideas here. We might have to retreat. Okay, we can actually get out if we want to. Uh, but we're actually doing a lot of damage here. And they're pulling back to that station. Their, their first goal was taking that station, which is interesting, actually. Um, currently, they were are lower than us in power. I think we might even be able to do this. There's a lot of lag going on there. As long as they pull out, then that's good. I don't want to lose too many ships. Uh, we do have some alloys, but never enough. And there's a... Federation... Oh, no, come on. They start just getting associated with everyone. Uh, 1.4 still. And they're down to a 1,000. They're starting to lose ships. Uh, we still got a few. I want to get rid of those smaller... Uh, birds of prey and replace them with something more capable of fighting uh, let us do we want to do a sabotage mission do a low intensity one I would like to see that one of these ships is disappearing right now that would be quite quite lovely to see yeah I will have to repair uh, 252. We definitely lost a few ships. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I want that. Now we we'll form a um, an alliance with them. Now we cannot lose this. This is 300 versus us. We have beaten their fleets and they will have to rebuild. And what we'll do is we're going to be upgrading and changing. Let's get this resource. The way we uh, actually handle our ops. Also... Do we want to upgrade this? Uh, no. What I do want is... Getting the Frontier Hospital. And for you... Uh, we got two food, which is not that much. But I need the energy more. Let's get fusion reactors on there. There we go. We actually were able to beat... Their fleets are now inferior to us. Let us um, upgrade the fleet. And then we go at it again. Let's take a look at our current fleet setup. Enoval, you're done. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Let's agree on that. Uh, let's keep the game pause for a second. Um, he's going back. We want to change this. Oh, it is precisely a hundred. Oh yeah, that, that's that's good enough. That is good enough. So let us uh, stop for now. Press the upgrade again. That's four hundred and four. Just pull them back for a bit. Who are you? Investigate that. And we got better shield emitters and other disruptors. Inertial dampeners. Chances to evade and supply speed plus 9. Uh, the weapon cost is expensive. <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, there's the Hussek. It's probably around there. So these guys now actually quite think that we are cool. 
I like it. Maybe we can uh, do a defensive pack. Just for now. Just a little defensive pack. So they... Uh, what the hell did happen over here? The Interstellar Union. If we back down now, everything we fought for is meaningless. Sucks. <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> what the hell is this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're the overlord. They're overlords. Holy shit, man. There's no federation in this game. They are going to be horrible and very strong. Oh yeah, we need we need the allies. <laughs> okay, no federation then. Interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> Was it because we were harming the relationship, perhaps? He's being rivaled. Oh my. <laughs> oh wow. I like that a lot. And they're still uh, inferior, which is good. Uh, we're going to be upgrading soon and repairing. Sorry for that. I didn't want to blow out your eardrums by um, scraping my throat. Uh, we're actually doing quite well there. They are, of course, not eager to accept. We could status quo them and get the systems that we got. That would still harm them quite a bit. Uh, but for now, we'll just make sure that we upgrade. And reinforce. Because that is just as wonderful. Orbital hospital. Uh, yeah, let's do the orbital hospital. Let's see. These guys are going to be nice. Um, eventually, we'll probably have to form like this front. Repairs have been completed. That's always nice. And we're slowly starting to upgrade. Let's uh, sell a thousand of these so we can actually get more uh, alloys going. Otherwise, we don't have enough to upgrade all, all of our ships. So that should be enough. At least now they're upgrading. And we get another warbird in here. And I think then we should be strong enough to take a run to some of these systems. If... And there is that tiny fleet. 690. I like that. Okay, this construction ship. You actually took that. So let's do that mining. And... Let's just... If we can get all the way over here. Then that would be quite, quite wondrous. Don't think two energy is quite worth the um, the endeavor. Hmm. Especially these strategic resources are quite, quite good. Let us um, go to Nimbus over there afterwards. And build up that station. And he'll have to... F he's most likely... He's probably going to get very hurt from even fighting this station. And we'll... <sighs> Army damage plus 25. We'll get another War Doctrine. Uh, fleet building speed is quite... Now, I think we'll be definitely fighting quite a bit. Although I do like the the subjugation and making them vassals. I I think we want to go for that one. Um, the tribute will increase and the unity output increases. Increase maximum number of rivalries. Uh, crime. Yeah, it's fine-ish. Although, orbital bombardment, more unity, naval uh, capacity and ship upkeep, admiral level cap. I think we should go for this one and try to form a second fleet. Let's go with supremacy, then cunning. We'll do it like that. Supremacy, then cunning. 
Have you been upgrading? <clears throat> How long until that fleet's done? Or actually that warbird? Uh, the wait. How long, he asks. He storms uh, beating at the uh, at his coat like a flurry of drunken fist. As long as it needs and an hour less, I reply. You said that, uh, you said it away, you old very Okay. At least we got something. That's cool. Government ethic attraction plus 5%. Um, I would like to see how this actually goes, because I think that they are out of shields. If we can destroy one of their ships, then that would be very, very... Let's go with non-aggression, indeed. Uh, maybe we should make an alliance, a federation. Um, the Romulan Federation, that would be interesting. I don't think they they are federation builders. Let, let's get started. Forming a coalition, we must be at peace. I kind of want to do that. I, I kind of want a coalition member because I don't trust the Interstellar Union at all. Uh, ship's experience gain. Black Hole Observatory. Let's go with the ship's uh, experience gain. 2%, uh, come on. Uh, final upgrades. There might be another upgrade to be done after this. Uh, because we did get another tech. So it might be possible there's another upgrade. No. Uh, we got to 2.1 and the ship is at 53%. Let them fight a tiny bit over there. Uh, we'll meet their fleet. We'll we are we'll... those who march under the raptor's wing. I'll accept that. Um, we'll kill that fleet off. We'll take the rest. And slowly... What we will do is try building up that naval capacity. Is there anything I can do over here? Yes, we can go for the naval logistics. And we still have a planet. Is there a planet in here as well? There is Romy that's in there. And we can build two more. So building you and building him. Actually him. Would be more beneficial because we're already bordering them. And I, I can say that I don't they... like being indebted to anyone. Yeah, you're going to be so pissed, aren't you? Suspicious, political, they're overwhelming. I'm not feeling it at all. <laughs> I would have liked to deal with the Federation. It would be so much better. Uh, but there we go. We can actually do uh, one more upgrade. Uh, because we got the, uh, the better armor. Uh, let's go for the Plasma Torpedoes number 3. Uh, we're still... Yeah. Is that Warbird still being constructed? Yes. As long as the Warbird is not constructed, we might as well just wait. And upgrade one of these star bases. We'll have to go to Type 3 though. Uh, but getting the first tier is going to be quite important. And by the looks of it, they still have the um, the first tier of uh, star bases. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want all of this. Now, we're not going to claim during war because that is usually a lot more expensive. Because this would be almost a hundred. A hundred and sixty. So we're not going to do that. A uh, delegate disruptors. Interesting. Uh, we'll get for the damage. Yeah, that's always good. Of course, now we need another upgrade. It's only for the Warbird. Uh, we're on 2.4. Uh, we were at 2.4 already. So not much has changed. And eventually this interceptor is going to be your anti-torpedo um, ship. Uh, he is now upgraded, so let's go. Let's go have some fun. 2.4. It's enough to take down the station while taking a few casualties. A negative 8. Um, no, no, nothing I want to do right now. We could harm this relation, but they're already in the Federation. I'll have to destroy that federation. For sure. Because now we're bordering like everywhere. And that's going to be a problem. Kind of wish that we saw where 
His fleet is and might be over here waiting. Now that would be way too ideal. I think what happens is he took this and he went back to Flaxia. At least I would have done that. Let's take a look here. Happiness. Supplies. Let's get both of these. Less supplies. It's, it's something that we can sell. Uh, tactical console of console. We'll take that. <clears throat> How far are we with that one technology? Better torpedoes. Didn't we get better ships as well? No. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping to get some better ships. Now, we should not lose anything over here. <clears throat> okay, that is quite nice. Um, let's go here, there, and there. Let's see what happens. When will they send out their fleet? Apparently now at 2.5. And going down to 2.4 again. Interesting. Uh, we'll keep a close eye on their fleets. Negative 13 is not a whole bunch. We're still building up um, the energy buildings over there. Which is quite nice. Uh, we've got one available job. And then it is time that we take this one. So let's queue that one up. No jobs remaining. Uh, definitely upgrade these buildings. Yeah, plus five minor jobs. That is quite a bit. That is quite a bit. And this, the explorers are really... They got some balls on them. <laughs> Damn. Uh, starships, no. Anchoring completely. How about you? Okay, both of you are now done. How expensive is it to upgrade? So we're lacking some uh, durable plates. Duranium plates, sorry. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? You're over there, are you? Oh, are you absolutely sure you're going to be doing that? Can I just click this place? Okay, that's just wonderful. Thank you. So, yeah. Do you want to see something die? Because, uh... I don't know why he got the idea that sending transport ships over in this region. Uh, there's actually... There is an army in there. Can't see it. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's 935. He is not even going to win the fight. He cannot take down the system. Uh, that means that his fleets are out. That's better. That's even better. It's great. He goes there right now. Uh, it's still shield damage, so we slowly snake our way up there. And we'll start taking everything. We'll take the planet, we'll send in the fleets. Can we actually see that planet? Uh, the armies? No. That's a bit of a shame. Hmm, let's take a look at this. It's always fun to see these fights. Are you winning this one? No, you're not. No, 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 you're not winning this one. You think you're winning this one. Unless one of those ships gets out. I don't, it's a it's thousand against five hundred. There is no, no way. He's actually, uh, he cannot even pull back his army. The only thing he can do is, is FTL out, is just escape. And uh, we should build the additional starbase. Oh, that's just lovely. I really like that. Let's build the starbase over here. And we'll save up for some more. Uh, we'll definitely, once the uh, the research is all done, we'll focus on alloys. Uh, military commission there. Uh, I'm not sure who you are, but... I don't think we'll have any use for you. The husks are over here. He's superior still. Um, that will change. It will, oh, it's over here. Wow, he's so tiny. 
So, uh, I kind of think that you should be uh, a vassal of mine, mate. Uh, we do need to increase our unity production. Negative 12 going to... Next month. 12.77. 11.25. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. So, we'll attack this. Uh, once we take control of the station and his fleets are out, so there's probably a bit of a... Oh, that's annoying. Uh, we missed each other. That's a thousand, so we'll have to go back. Immediately go back. Because he's going to FTL the hell out of here. Actually, yeah, you take down the station. Why not? Takes not a lot of time. And we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll deal with that 1k fleet. If they're not... Yes, that's what I was... Ah, they're coming back. That's great. I really like it when they just... Honor the challenge and just come towards us. A lot of asteroids here. We can actually build stuff on. So let's wait for them. Yeah. Come on, just jump in. Oh, yeah. That's not looking good for them. Uh, we got the tactical uh, uh, tactical console upgrade, and we can actually get cruiser auras. I don't, I don't. Is this cruisers? I don't think that they're cruisers. They're warbirds. I kind of don't want to see any damaged on our side. And wow, they're dropping like flies. I love that. Please do not get too much damage. And there is something going on. Happiness plus five. And there is the 680. Ships experience gain plus 25. And we can get a new economy policy. Or diplomacy or slavery. Let's go with that one first. Yeah, it, it's too little too late, man. Too little too late. Ship as actually with 2.6 right now. Uh, we'll probably lose a bird of prey here. But like I said, I don't care for the bird of prey. Um, I want to get my army out of interceptors and warbirds. Until we get something better. Let's not do the committee. I'm currently now on negative 5. And if this is the final bit. That is the end of their fleets. I uh, will probably... Oh, wow. We're destroying them. Some are trying to get the hell out. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. That is really nice. Shall we just take a sneak peek? That's a weird angle. Let's take a look. And they're probably too very damaged. Um, we got a, uh, a scientist dying. Apparently we lost a, uh, a science vessel, which is not good. I think the... Um, they sure as hell sometimes are absolute jackasses, these scientists. We'll build those later. There we go. Let's pause it for a second. Oh, there's the starbird again. Yeah, we'll have to take that. Shame about the scientist. Let's take a look. They are very much hurt. Will they go in? Okay, we'll have to be very careful here. Um, these ships will probably get out really fast. Um, unfortunately, all of the transports in there will join as well. So that's six. Yeah, Ooh, it's going to be sketchy. I hate it. But it's that they're so much... They're still damaged quite a bit. Uh, the shields should go out relatively fast. And we have the uh, the Fendoma states who are in contact. Now let's keep the game paused for a second there. Um, now, there is a technological breakthrough. And since we are having the xenophobe ethic, we can only go for the slave labor. If we can get these ships out, I think we can win this. 
Admin cap plus 15. Yeah, you know, that would not be such a bad idea right now. Since we're getting a lot of systems with this. Yeah, I just want to get that station under control. And that station is, is about it. So, currently the acceptance is negative 71. We need the station, we need the planet in order to actually get all of this stuff. And yes, there we go. So, they're starting to lose hull points. Uh, some of my interceptors do look like they are about, yeah, armor damage. That's not good. Uh, so we'll definitely lose a few interceptors. Uh, the ships jumped out. They jumped out. Kill that station. Let's go scroll a bit out. Uh, you're not doing anything. Why is that? Just pause it for a second. Um, where are you? You're over there. Let's upgrade you. Uh, the Omega Molecule. Can we sell that stuff? No, we cannot. I would have liked to sell that. Like to sell that a lot. And we're still building the commercial district over here. So we're actually getting into a positive. And oh yeah, we're, we're about to lose an interceptor. Although, did we lose an interceptor? No, we, we, we still, yeah, we had the, the one negative. But we actually got it. How many armies are on this planet? Not enough for us to worry about. Let's get you. Land those armies over there. That's nice. Negative 71. I wonder where their fleets are. It's possible they will start to jump in here again. Oh yeah, they build up some more stations. Which is not a problem. We will claim those later. We now enter the orbit of this I think we'll, uh, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, shipyards. That is just, I love it. I love when that happens. Let's upgrade over here. There's no point in us getting out of this system. And we get another 5% happiness. And let us re-actually... Let's not do that. Uh, since I don't like the Birds of Prey anyways... Um, how much is this? Oh, well. It's 10. And this one's 4, so there will be 8. Okay, so 2 birds of praise, whatever. Let's get that going. Uh, real work bad. Unknown territory. Let's upgrade. Apparently... We cannot upgrade. Uh, fine. Why not? That's fine. We have a station here. They are not going to attack us. And we're waiting for the fleets. And this war's done. Once we get that system under control. We got a war. We actually ex just double in size. Um, what we'll do here is start colonizing with you. Let's take it to habitability. Wow, you're good researchers though. Very slow pop speed. Okay, we need the one that actually grows the fastest. Bonus to all research is just as good though. Uh, but it's 80% for these fellas. So we might as well just use them. Might as well. Uh, you. 75%. Let's get the... Uh, we'll have to wait for some more alloys. Uh, we're very low on alloys. Let's sell some. There we go. Colonize using the Romulans. Colonize using... Uh, using nothing because we need more consumer goods. And that is actually... that that That's going to make me cry. Oh, shit. Oh, actually, he's fighting... Okay, I don't want that. You go there, like this. 
go around this. Can we pull you back over here and then there? Like that. I don't need you in that fight. I really don't want you in that fight. Anything that I claimed that is not yet under my control. Well, there's more under my control than I claim, but still. Uh, reinforcements are now in transit. I'm quite safe to leave this station behind. I don't think they can muster up the, uh, the strength for that. Okay, let them merge together shortly. Take a look. You are friendly. Uh, once we are out of war, we're going to be forming a um, a coalition. Since I do need something to deal with I our war can be overwhelming uh, friends to our west. I want you to go there. Go here. And do the, all of those jobs. Uh, construction ship. Uh, you go at mining stations, mining stations, as well as research stations. And then... Ah, oh, they took that system. Yeah, it's, I think it's this one. Oh, that's such a shame. Uh, then I, you go here, take the star post. And then go here, take that star post. And we'll have room for two more buildings, uh, two more... Um, planets and then we'll start claiming the rest of this territory i don't know if we want to vassalize him or not yeah there, there's nothing going in there it's it's not even worth it are we able to save the station Unknown. no but it's fine by the time he uh he is not able to pop out let the merch up Okay, there we go, we're at 2.7, and let's head over there. Now my ally is actually starting to do stuff. And actually, I want him to fight the fleet that is coming in here right now. Is he going to fight the fleet? That's actually going to go in there. We got the Ferengi Alliance. Come on, uh, jump in. Ugh, you bastard. Uh, research grant. We'll uh, keep that going. Sharing the burden. Ooh. Well, we don't have too many slaves, so that's not helping us. Yeah, we'll keep things like this. Let them just have a bit of a go at this. Actually, they jumped out immediately. Interesting. Yeah, there's no way you can win this, right? No, there's no way. It's 1.4 against 3. And the... Where are you? There you are. No. Land armies over there. Do not engage that. There is no need to engage that. Let's get this out. Uh, we have a 2.6k fleet over there. Uh, do we want to... No, I think it is time that we start domestic suppression on a low intensity. Because when we take this planet, it will be needed. I think we'll have a lot of crime. Hey, Vixman, how are you doing, man? Aren't you at work or something? Don't you have, like, a shift to run? Unity gained. Yeah, great. Unknown territory explored. Okay. So, give me the planet and I'll be happy. No garrison. That's the best. We'll uh, we'll get some uh, some pops there that we'll uh, we'll have to use on our planets. We might even just allow them to be in our in our like I said in our empire because they are very much like our own uh, government, like our own race. They're militant, just just good. Uh, Mordari states. Nobody cares about you. You got a one month vacation. Wow, some people are very lucky. Uh, let's achieve the war goals and send them the best possible outcome. Here we go. 
And there is now, of course, some uprising, uh, which is okay. Uh, we got a new station in here. Uh, I think we should indeed keep it as a shipyard. And by that, we can now ask them if they would form a coalition with us. And I think... Let's take a look. Members can freely leave the Federation without the President's approval. I kind of want to be... We could go a, uh, a research cooperation. Maybe just a hegemonian. Um, the Federation without the President's approval. The President refuses. The members get a... I kind of like that. More than the research one. Uh, since I'll probably be very much in control of the research. We do still want to get the Federation going. Um, Romulan Star Alliance. So the Romulan Star Alliance, or the, the Erezae, that's going to be it. And he will accept. There we go. That is a lot of noise. And here we go, we don't care for you. The more say to us sucks, the Klingons are... Mev? Mev? <laughs> oh. Oh, that is so random. That is so random. Merv. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Excellent. We don't care. Excellent. We don't care. Interesting. Excellent. Guess what's going to be my answer every now and then? So, they're equivalent to us, which is definitely a problem, and the naval cap has definitely grown. Empire Sprawl is a bit high, though. Uh, but let, let's take a look here. Mm, I think this is for the Federation fleet eventually. That would be quite nice. Uh, we'll have to assign envoys. Uh, we don't need you anymore there, so you'll go there. Uh, we're still getting a negative on... Negative 0.5. So... Let's accept you as well. Let's make it a plus. Can we get the clean You honor my house! Oh, you shut it. Shut up. Please. Um... Yeah, actually, that is a good invitation. To get him involved we as well. We are those who march under the raptor's wing. Uh, but he's already my vassal. Let's take a look at some of the laws here. Uh, fleet contribution is low. Uh, we're quite on minimal right now. Rotation is the strongest. Now, let's make sure that... Oh, uh, wow. That means that I'm most likely... I'm the strongest right now. And uh, we'll definitely have to make sure that it happens. Keeps staying like this way. Succession power is going to be... Diplomatic wave? No, I kind of wanted to go with fleet, but they will not approve. Mm, can subjects join? Yes, that's good. Equal majority vote. President decrees. Kicking member? Yeah. I'm quite okay with this type of federation. At least we're now um, not as weak as we once were. And I will... I should still be able to go and do a bit of warring. Um, considering warring, can we just... If I click you and say make claims, I should only see his territory. That's easier for me. And that one. There we go. Let's make those claims. We claim all of you. And soon, yeah, we'll get some more in here because we do want some friends. Um, but they'll have to start improving on their own. Uh, there's a lot of borders closed. Invasion is over. XP is increasing, so that message can go out. Uh, unrest. 
Well, let's take a look. What kind of um, civ what, what kind of type you are? Slavery. The remnant are slaves as well. Interesting. Didn't even know that. Um, that means that we probably don't want to colonize with those. Empire Sprawl will have to fix. Let's see. Let's see, no specialist jobs here. Do we have unemployment? No, we're still growing them. Um, I still, I want to change this. I want to change this. Uh, I want to give these guys their rights, uh, not so much as uh, as as full citizens, uh, citizens, but uh, as residents. Yes, um, and we'll give them strife of economics. Yeah, we'll give them social welfare. Soldier only. I do accept that. Colonization rights. Control. Yeah, that, that will at least make them happy enough to make sure that we don't take a nosedive. Uh, we do need to get these jobs filled. Uh, so we'll start by doing two minerals down. This should go into that. Let's increase those jobs again. That is quite good. And it's definitely mining networks here. Hmm. The, this building can go away. I quite like it. We're making 28 alloys right now. Uh, we can just fix our economy in this region. Uh, we already have the Frontier Hospital, which is good. And we got one fusion reactor already. Let's make a uh, hydro Hydroponics, actually. No, we'll make you fusion reactors. The food is not as much of a problem as the energy. The food is the food is usually way less expensive. So that's good. Um, these guys will keep you on the planet for now. Uh, let's give you a sector. Let's put you on auto and... Hmm. Doctor production plus 10. Sure. Why not? Let's wait for a month. Maybe that will change the um, the government here a bit. Especially with uh, the economy. Well, not so much. But I do like I do like that we gain more alloys. That's definitely worth it. Now, we, we, did, we did build this station. Let's go with um, naval. And... We'll go with traffic control and we'll fill that up with the other one. Uh, I think we also build another one, right? And we need to hook this up. Where are you again? I keep messing that one up. Let's go all the way to Romulus. That's being built. That's all the same. That's good. So, how is the fleet currently? Uh, we can upgrade to the fleet. We will. And we're going to be building a new fleet. And we'll take this guy apart. And where is my construction ship? Yeah, you're still very busy. That's good. Yeah, my space is very busy. It's very, very busy. <laughs> for sure. That's for sure. Eventually, we'll have to kill these guys. We we are aware of this, right? For now, it's just a tiny bit of a defense can be avoided. to um, to deal with these, this overlord. And if we can just break this apart, then... We'll be strong enough to deal with them. Uh, for now, this guy is going to be loving the fact that we helped him. Kind of want just we a are few... I don't care what you are. 
Uh, we just need a few more to get into this coalition. He's actually, uh, uh, they need to improve themselves. I can't do that. Yeah, we won that war, we know. Uh, when can I attack again? Truces. Um, so it's for uh, 10 years I am unable to attack them. Then we'll claim everything again and just annihilate them. And we'll probably start being very annoying for this guy and his uh, ally. Until a point where I hope that he will leave. Hmm, okay, so I'm kind of hoping that I will be that powerful guy. So we definitely want to start building another fleet. And the economy is just as important as any other. So you are done correctly. You have upgraded 2.7. Let us get started on creating a new fleet. Oh, we got the starboard. That is awesome. That is awesome. Let's get the next hull stage and we'll go for yeah, science console. Let's take a look at that ship. The Starbird. It's kind of wonky. Heavy plasma disruptors. That is very strong. Shields in there as well. Let's save you for a bit. I like that. It's very strong. Well, actually, it's just as strong as the Warbird. And the Warbird is more focused on disruptors, I guess. Actually, no. We're all focused on disruptors. And the one thing that we do lag is, I think, armor damage. Yeah, it is armor damage that we're lacking. Ah, that's fine. Uh, shields usually... Uh, what I would do is buffing shields like crazy. Buff that shield up. This ship is going to be a bloody nightmare for them. Um, we got the shield hit points negative 20%. And we got the ship cloaking in there as well. I like that. I like the ship cloaking a lot. Um, that uh, The first damage, that first 60 seconds of damage is just absolutely wonderful. kind of think we go for double shields and this is tracking so the speed is not as much mm, so evasion is not going to do accuracy tracking and chances to evade I, I think this I, I like this one more and daily hull and daily armor I'm not a fan of this one even though it is the crew quarters type 3 I would rather go for something that does the operations completely. Very, very expensive ship. Also go for more of this. Currently I'm using the science quarters. No, let's go for damage. Go for damage. And get the... I think the EPS... Menful. There we go. Plus three percent. And once again, we'll take the science station in there, and we'll get the command center. I think this is better. It's just as expensive. We are making those, right? Yeah, we're making enough of that to build it up. And there is no upkeep from it, so that's good. Very look. Two point four two for the uh, upkeep alone. Uh, 1.65, so extremely expensive. Uh, but the newest fleet will definitely have that ship. So let's assign a, uh, a warbird. Probably something like this. Keep one of them. Something like this. A 322. Uh, I think that is strong enough. Although we could actually add a bird of prey. To get closer to that. Just one. Why not? And once uh, some of these ships are damaged enough. We'll get the other bit in there as well. So currently we once again need 6,000. Uh, we're building up enough for the naval cap. 
And there's a war declared between... I think these two? No? These two? Interesting. What is in here? Yeah, you don't look so good, buddy. You don't look so good. I'm just happy with this guy. Yeah, that's good for you, man. Yeah, the planet has been claimed for the glory of the Empire. Good for us. Uh, let's get the uh, fleet logistics centers in there as well. And we can build one more station. If they attack, let's get you. And we'll do the same with him as well. Uh, we're still making two influence. That will increase over time. And we'll get that other colony. The third fleet. Now that does sound very, very wrong. It's the first fleet. Oh man, that's good. Uh, I think, guys, that's it for me today. Uh, it's three and a half hours. Uh, I kind of hope that you will be enjoying this uh, on, on YouTube later. And we'll do this event next stream. It is most likely... Friday. Friday, yeah. So, if you're enjoying yourself on, on YouTube later, as well as here on Twitch, if you're lurking, um, give me a... Um, Subscribe on YouTube, but also follow me on Twitch. The more the merrier, I'd say. And I'll see you uh, next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.